Summer Game Fest audience, Lamar Wilson here. And the Lamar Wilson. I, lo I, lo I love him. <laughs> I just got a full screen. There you go. But I love this so much that I can't wait to see what's next. Then there's a new game from Rare called Everwild. It just looks amazing. All right, so this is the... Listen, everybody. Listen up. Let's, let's everybody gather around. This is the freaking Summer Game Fest or the Game Awards YouTube channel. The actual Xbox showcase doesn't start for 19 minutes. <laughs> it's very confusing. The whole thing's very confusing. It's true. I don't even have that up. I'm looking at the countdown on the Xbox thing. It's they're, 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 these. It's really just a bunch of YouTubers like getting hyped for the Xbox showcase. But it sounds like there's a it sounds like it started an hour ago, but it didn't. Is all I'm saying. Uh, anyway, there's a there's a whole lot of you here. Hi, everybody. Uh, we got. I can't I can't talk while Jeff Keeley's in my ear. Uh, <laughs> Nika Vokadobins. Thank you for the three months. Warble Sync, thank you for the five months. J Flem, thank you for the 13. Yo the you the man, Bob. If you had to choose now, PS5 or Xbox Series X. If I had to choose now, I would blow my brains out. Brown <laughs> Prince <laughs> with six months, go team. A big fat geek, two months, a low. All right, maybe PS5 just for the exclusives, but we're gonna learn exclusives right now for Xbox. Yeah, I was gonna so say, we don't even know the exclusive, dude. If they fucking announce Banjo, fuck PS5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big fat geek, thank you for the two months. And thank you for the 500 bits. Kita Dell, thank you for the tier what's up. A big fat geek, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh, I restarted the session. You would have been the you would have been the stream sponsor. Uh, thank you though. Tear drop tone, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Mix Luna, thank you for the six months. Boomer Stream, thank you for the twenty one months. Why are there so many of you people here? This is a weird time for me to stream. Naughty Doc, thank you for the fifty bits. Cause this is non E three E three hype, dude. I don't even mean viewers. I mean people giving me money. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> thank you for the fifty bits. Thank you for the ten bits. I like. I love. I love you. <laughs> Let me turn off the the notifications. Actually, I'll leave them on until the actual show starts because nothing's happening right now. What is this game? Wow, Jeff look high. That's how that's the only way he can get ready for this stuff. These little games. <laughs> oh hey, it's Will. I will. Hi, Will. What is this? <laughs> what is angry at me? Why? Am I not allowed to stream too? I didn't even read what Will said. I just saw that Will was in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You're stealing his viewers. Oh my god. Oh, hello, neighbor, too. Oh, is, is he actually mad about that? Tell him to get over himself. <laughs> Did he actually say that? Because I will start a riot in his chat right now. <laughs> Give me a clip. I need a clip of him saying that. I don't believe you that he actually said that. He did. Of the showcase uh, from said. Xbox. It's going to last almost exactly one hour. So what should I do? What should we go over to which chat and say? Fuck uh, you, right Wood. 
program, uh, a great program. This week, actually, if you're on Xbox, there's a Summer Game Fest demo event. Over 70 games that you can download and preview for free. Uh, one of the big things I wanted to do with Summer Game Fest was give everyone... Oh, what should we say? What should we say? And I want to thank the team at Xbox for putting that together in these unusual circumstances where we don't have big uh, consumer events to go and play games. But right now, let's take a look at ID at Xbox. And there are All right, everybody say, stealing your viewers, huh? <laughs> there you go, there's your copy pasta. Stealing your viewers, huh? What do you mean about <laughs> Wolf Den? What do you mean stealing your viewers? Show what do you mean? Uh, but right now, we're gonna take I don't know what you mean. At the ID at Xbox I will heard you were no. talking shit! You're under the topic special events. Should I be in uh, special events? Yeah, you should be in special events. You're gonna be thrown off Twitch. Heard you were talking. Yeah, but not about you. I wasn't saying. I haven't mentioned you once this. Oh, you guys. God damn it! You guys should do the Sam Sora redacted thing where you you're talking through your stream. Should I change my category? Events. I won't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're actually fucking what category you're in. Ah, it's a trap. All right, no more, no more wood. Did you guys dupe me, you pieces of shit? <laughs> this is why I need proof. Are we done yet? <laughs> oh man, still got 12 minutes. So, what do we know from actual Xbox? Uh, Halo. Is that literally all that they said that they're doing? I think so. Pretty sure. Uh, um, the right other now, thing that uh, we kind of uh, sort of know because cool the rumors is Fable. You, uh, this comes from a and I mean, I guess, I what, this, Forza? Uh, like, Forza is probably going to be there. I was really excited and honored to have the opportunity to share this with you. So, uh, this is a bit of a longer piece, but it takes you into the world of a brand new game um, from a, a special. Yeah, it's just, they're just really showcasing Halo, according to the Twitter. Well, they're definitely showing more than that. It's going to be an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's just an hour of Halo. I really hope yeah. it's not just an hour of Halo. <laughs> they must have a great show if they're showing all of these now. <laughs> well, that's the thing is that this isn't even the Xbox showcase. This is Summer Games Fest right now. Wait, what were you talking about? This that they're showcasing right now, all these games, is the these are the pre-shows. This is the pre-show provided by Summer Game Fest. This shit don't even count. Xbox stream is even categorized as Summer Game Fest. <laughs> True. Is that a category? Uh, it looks like it on um, Xbox's page. Oh, it is. All right, I guess I guess Summer Game Fest. <laughs> Let me go tell Wood I changed it over to Summer Game Fest. <laughs> ah, whatever. He's still in just chatting. Are they going to be showing hardware? I that's really the only reason I'm awake right now. <laughs> Is the hope that they'll show hardware. I listen, Halo's great. 
Is that the gaming? Well, actually, no, never. <clears throat> I retract the statement. I was gonna say, is that the gaming version of Show Feet? But that's just Show Feet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm listen. Halo's great. Love the thing. Love the stuff. <laughs> Love the thing. <laughs> I've never been a huge Halo fan. Like, I only played a little bit of, I think, the second one, and I played the three multiplayer. And I played... I'm here for Banjo. Show me Banjo. <laughs> and I played, uh... ODST, which is the worst one. <laughs> no, it's not. That's Halo 5, dude. Is Halo 5 the worst one? Yeah, man. Oh, well, ODST was the worst one before that. <laughs> ODST was pretty bad. And I never played a Halo game. I played Halo 2. I played the Halo 2 co-op is what I played. And then I jumped right to ODST and I was like, this game is not good. Halo uh, 2 lit. Hot take, I fucking hate the first Halo. Uh, Halo 3 is cool. But I like Halo 2 better. Um, Breach is good. ODST is whatever. All the rest of them garbage. <laughs> I played the th I played Reach multiplayer, which is basically the same as freaking three. three yeah. Oh no, they had the abilities and stuff. But uh, no, I like Halo. I just you know I was never you know that into it. ODST was amazing. It's my favorite of all of them. You're not even the guy though. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're not the guy. You're not even a freaking. Aren't you not even a, a Spartan in it? Like oh, at all? You're saying you're not Master Chief, yeah. Yeah, yeah the guy. Yeah, yeah. But you're I not. You but, but, it, but at least I reach. You were specifically talking to a big fat geek. I thought you were saying like, <laughs> you're not an Xbox guy. You know? <laughs> at least in Reach, you're a Spartan. But in ODST, you're just a fucking guy. <laughs> We all right if they don't show banjo. Look into your hearts to discover what's most precious. Conquer will be acceptable as well, but not that's not going to fucking happen, <laughs> you know. What? Oh, Conquer? Yeah, if they if Conquer gets revealed, it's going to be a shitty game. <laughs> It's going to be like the Project Spark shit that they did. <laughs> yeah, they're never bringing Conquer back. Did they ever bring Conquer back in a kid-friendly way? No. I mean, Project they wouldn't Spark. be able to. They did it in Project Spark. Right, right. He, like you could put him in your uh, games <laughs> in that. Is the stream lagging or just me? It's just you. Everything's perfect here. Donkey Kong 64 uh, so remaster, please. Group, uh, join us here as we count down in the final five minutes. Uh, we got Matt Pat joining us. Matt Pat. <laughs> All right, we got to listen to Matt Pat. I could check out right now. I am sold. Balan Wonderworld, number one game over Stand Aside Halo Infinite. That was what I needed to see. I was going to say, I was pretty excited when we got that. I'm like, okay, this pre-show is going to be pretty good. Um, that's an exciting announcement. Um, yeah, just to have those guys back doing that. So yeah, I agree with you, Matt Pat. All right, we've also got JD Witherspoon joining us. What's up, So we get out of Matt Pat. Yo, I'm chilling, man. I'm looking at this countdown for the showcase. I'm ready to put my helmet on and get it going. But I'm like, let's talk. Let's talk real quick. <laughs> I was going to say, we got five minutes. And uh, <laughs> joining us also is Allegra Frank from Vox. Allegra, how you doing? Hey, I'm really good now. Like after Balan Wonderland, I'm with Matt. Yo, that's it. That's the end of the show for me. <laughs> we done. Yeah. No, it was. It's nice, happy, uplifting. We need a game. All right, enough of so you was, people. Yeah, hey, Bob. I really love your content on YouTube. You make me happy. <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that. I was wondering if you could play Mario Maker as I'm in UK and I can't catch most streams. I would love if you had an after party. There will be a little bit of an after party. Not much though, because I do want to stream tonight also. What's gonna let me put it this way? What can 
Mike, what does Microsoft need to do to get an A from you? You uh, playing Warzone? <laughs> so what's it gonna take? Let's start with you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to me, we all know Halo Infinite. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, tonight? I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm going to yeah, do. I, dog I, mean, I have no idea. I want to play... I might just stop Paper Mario. <laughs> the problem is people are still watching it, so I feel like I, I shouldn't stop yet. But uh, I want to play freaking the Game Boy game. Oh, son of a bitch. God damn it. We're being... We're being uh, Hunk. Would you? Hunk. You can't call this a raid. <laughs> yeah, it's not a raid. This is a reverse raid. <laughs> this is them trying to convert viewers, dude. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing what he told me to do. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, told, I told him to do. I told. <laughs> what? Well, where? Where are you streaming this? On Twitch. I can. I can make a multi-link. Oh. Cool. Listen, you can steal my viewers. Wood can't steal my viewers. He's got too many viewers. You can steal my viewers. I don't care. Oh, I watched um you play Smite. You were awful. <laughs> do you play Smite? What? Yeah, I do. Uh, are, is play a lot of MOBAs. Jackson, are you also streaming it? I am not. Oh, you big fat stupid loser. I just didn't want to stream it. I know that no one in the in the chat wants that, but hey, remember Enter the Matrix? But you guys are cute. Thanks. Shut, shut the hell up, Jackson. <laughs> seven. Wow, damn, Super Saiyan Seven. <laughs> Fuck you too. I have to hop on Bob's thing now. God damn it. You simp. You simp for me, Super Saiyan, and you know you do. Um, bitch. Allegra, I know you're excited about. All right, I'm getting off of the, the stupid this game award shit. We're gonna open up on Twitch. Now. Yeah, it's a good idea. That's a good idea. I've just been on the Xbox one the whole time, dude. Uh, I'm gonna refresh going it because it's being weird. Though. I already knew Bob was gonna watch the Jeff Keighley one though, because Bob's a Jeff Keighley simp. I am. Hey, Jeff Keighley's cool. I like him. <laughs> hey, man. I'm not saying he's not. All I'm saying is Bob simps for Jeff Keighley. That's fair. Those things can both be true. <laughs> you're not. You're not wrong. <laughs> I a thousand percent simp for Jeff Keighley. Um. But you also sent for me, right, Bob? Shut up, Jackson! <laughs> <laughs> you were so angry right there. I felt that. I felt that so hard. Everybody talk for a second. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, hello. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I gotta raise you people. Hi, my name is Jackson, and I'm here to say okay. I don't have a rhyme. To say. <laughs> yeah. I'll just blast Discord. Uh, Oh, let me. Where the fuck is Bob? Bob? There's Bob. Bob, do you care that we crashed your your Discord? No, I don't care. All right, good. It's totally <laughs> fine. Can I crash more things? Fuck in you, your house? Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson's gonna leave now. <laughs> Bob, I have really good news. I'm gonna live near you. Oh, Shut the no fuck up. that's <laughs> great news. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm moving to Mars. What Bob. good news? It's not, it's not even a joke, Bobby. Serious. Yeah, yeah Jackson, no, Jackson's about to dox me in two seconds. In, in walking yeah. distance, and Bob. specifically, <laughs> apartment five. <laughs> oh in your building, Fred. <laughs> oh, my good lord. Ugh. Where uh, can you repost that multi-stream link? I don't. I, I I went to your chat late. You talking to me? Yeah, you. I didn't even post. Wait. I just uh, I, I oh, made the I made the command. I made the command. Yo, is there Greg it is. <laughs> Greg just liked okay. my tweet. Is Greg coming? Greg dude? could come. Is this a party, dude? <laughs> Are we? It's already a party. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boy. Something's happening. Why are you, why are you drinking? It's not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's freaking oh, noon, God. man. Oh, he's drinking a White Claw. That's it. Oh, God. That that deserves, uh, in your chat, a White Claw uh, emote. Wait, Yo, Clementine's awful. Holy crap. There's the white claw. Not, not a good. <laughs> oh, I turned notifications off. I forgot. Oh. Uh. Oh, nobody did anything. Cool. Super Saiyan. Thanks for the four months. Uh, seventeen months with this emulator, freak. 
I need a drink. Anybody else want one while I'm up? Uh, Jackson does, apparently. Yeah, apparently. He's what what did I, I do? I don't five like seconds, five seconds. You I don't like this narrative. Free. Yeah, you can't do that. That's not good for the brand. I don't like this narrative <laughs> yeah, that I only talk okay. about uh, freaking uh, little portable emulators. I don't like it. Yeah, he talks about big portable em emulators. If you don't like those videos, <laughs> stop watching it. Stop watching them, and I'll stop making them. Oh. You never get in a Game Boy video ever again. All right. Oh my. Oh my God. Can I get a Game Boy video? You can yeah, get. I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot Fucked. the whole Game Boy video though. <laughs> They lied. Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to have vertigo. They gave Thank us a you. countdown to a countdown, dude. What if it's another countdown? Yeah. That'd be lit. <laughs> it's like 30 minutes of countdown. Oh, countdown simulator! <laughs> it would be an Xbox Series S, though. That'll be the countdown. <laughs> That's great. Oh. All right, let's see how good this oh, is mixed. It's starting Halo, I think. Yo, it's a round. <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> Guys, I love Circle Simulator. Please just oh, show the console. Yeah. <laughs> that was one step away from showing us wet. We already know what the console like, though. I need more. He's talking about the series. Give me the, guys. give me the yeah, guts. We know, we know what that looks like, though. <laughs> give me the guts. We don't know what this, what the Lockhart looks like. Yes, we do. No, oh, we do don't. we? Show me. Show me what it looks like. You must have the inside scoop. Wait, the, are you talking about the console? What are you talking about? Oh my there's God. two consoles. Yeah, there's two consoles. Guys, yeah. <laughs> I think they're showing Halo. I don't know anymore. <laughs> they're making it. No, it's hand simulator. <laughs> Indie list. Thank you for the follow. Yo, it's the Xbox Vita, dude. Save humanity in the war to come. Oh my God, <laughs> Xbox Vita. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's the Halo Infinite Mobile. I must remind myself. This is the guy. Liquid crystal cannot rise oh, on its shit. own. <laughs> titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face Yo, of titanium extinction. Titanium alloy, that's some sci fi shit. Yeah, it's like I can feel it. Armor cannot hope. There's no one inside. Is that his number? Yeah. Sierra 117. Cool. <laughs> it all okay. means nothing. Wow, it looks like a real guy. Xbox is so good. <laughs> whoever whoever right. thought renders could look like that. Are they streaming this in 4K? Are they? I don't know. They, uh, they oh, usually that, don't. That was, that, that, I love no, that. No, they are not. Piano. Oh. Oh! Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, are we getting a demo right now? Am I dead? Okay, so 540 years dead. later. We're still are we gonna have to wait uh, for the demo? <laughs> are we getting a demo after this? Yep, this is dead. This seems like it is the demo. All right, now this looks like a this looks like a game now. <laughs> it, it do be looking like a game. Whoa! Yo, that that's gotta be like <laughs> Gorilla Glass twenty seven. <laughs> yeah, right. Hold on. Oh, they aimed for right on the scar. Is that Joel? <laughs> nice. It can't be. Spoilers, dude. No. Get. No. You. I can't stand this. Is that you Ren? Breathe. No. <laughs> you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. I We're. You talk to Master Chief like that, dude. Are you even He's listening? Like I tall? count three anti aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. I thought that was just the suit safe. <laughs> and not Master Chief. Uh, <laughs> He's just there, just I talking to him. Safe since I found you. No, this is a I continuation from the, uh, from the the trailer. three trailer Stay last year. Look at this man. I this man has like home. five heads on the It'll other deal. What the fuck is that, man? Banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Together. <clears throat> Confirm. Oh, you want the little friend. Okay, big guy. 
Whoa. The game sucks. They didn't do the reticle Ooh. thing where you got a <laughs> thing and then a different thing. God damn it, AJ. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm looking at this in full screen and I never watch things in full screen, but I felt like I was. I should have picked up the controller there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Dude, it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> That would have been nuts. It's an interactive demo on Yeah, like you actually had to play. I think they might drop this. No. I, I agree, up. actually. Am I gonna go to a GameStop to pick up an Xbox right now to play it? I'll Absolutely. be really upset if this hour is just this demo. <laughs> I think it might be. Uh, I, I think, no, because they're gonna show off Fable too. Yeah, they wouldn't have Did they say it Fable? Uh, it, no. it got leaked the other day. Oh, okay. You got and they, and, leaked. And they like brought it up in the in the um Ew. Uh, <laughs> like multiple times. Oh, that's awesome. It's like open world now. Oh, this is so cool. Why everything gotta be open world? Yeah, I, I'm I'm also on that boat. It looks it looks great though. Do you think they'll release the demo for PC too, or is this just only I, I'm problem? gonna imagine it's only for Xbox, which is why I'm gonna go buy one. Nah, man. You're gonna go buy an Xbox just to play this? I oh, don't know. Absolutely. I don't know. I, the, the whole, my hope for this is that we learn a little bit more about what they're gonna do with the next gen. Like, Ooh. Ooh. will everything also come out on PC? Because right now they seem pretty cool with doing that. Yeah. Uh, Halo, Halo's always been a weird. Well, Thing where yeah, they don't release they, it on PC. They they're put it. They've been great about putting things on PC, but way after it's been on Xbox. Well, well, right. no, no, no. They've they've been Halo for whatever reason. They put it on PC way after it's released, but everything else. Oh, they see a thieves too. Sea of thieves was late. I know that. Oh, that game didn't even come out when it. Well, I think the whole Game Pass thing and that having the PC version says that they're they're. Committed. Yeah, I agree. We'll see. We'll oh, see. What? Zip line? That guy's from that guy's from Destiny. It's a bad guy from Destiny. <laughs> nah, this oh, was his origin story. Now he died before Destiny <laughs> came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Master Chief's a game dev. He have you have you guys played uh, Halo? Yes. I hope so. I played Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I played Halo 2 co-op, and I played ODST, and I played 3 multiplayer. And that's I it. Didn't get a good experience of Halo no, I got a terrible experience. The the, the story <laughs> from 3 is... You talking shit about Halo 2, Jackson? I'm talking shit about Halo ODST and Halo yeah. 3 only multiplayer. Yeah, Halo, Halo uh, ODST was, was, was bad. What? It I was love not. That. It was not no, good. ODST is great, what? but you need, like, you need everything else from Halo to like have it yeah. like be worthwhile. So like, if he only played Halo Two, multi or Halo Two. It's co like it's like only watching uh, episode two of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, yeah, one hundred percent. Great, you're not wrong. I, you know what? Honestly, I would say like Halo ODST is like the Rogue One of Halo. It's a great that's game, fair. but it doesn't make sense if you don't know the other stuff. Oh, that's awesome! I don't think it was a good game. Yeah, everything <laughs> gotta have a good game. <laughs> I, I disagree. I think it's a great game. The response to that is why not? <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Yo, fucking. God, you're so late. <laughs> Looking a little OP there, uh, Master Chief, wouldn't you say? That's <laughs> because he's a Master Chief. Dude. He mm. explaining it for me. This is not, uh, it's not pre recorded. <laughs> this man had two titles, and it's his name. <laughs> Oh, elites again? Okay, I'm okay with that. Bob doesn't hate Halo. Bob doesn't hate Halo, everybody. Okay. No, he Bob just hates everything that isn't a portable. I just emulator. didn't like ODST, and I, I haven't played much of the other ones. Bob hates Halo. UNSC lost oh shit! This war months ago. You're from I Destiny too, Bob. Broken. Yes. Or also. <laughs> Always one of those big guys. There's Joel. Oh wait, no, he went back. To That's Abby. 
I wish I could tell you it's difficult. Is Master Chief the Abby of this game? <laughs> no, no, this, this guy right there, that's Abby. That's after she started waking up more. Always. The rain is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium is well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. Halo is down on the switch. But here you now. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. This is my last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. I'm very uncomfortable. God, He's on a crowd in the mall. That's what I right now. Dude. They're, they're keeping quarantine. We're not getting this demo. It's not coming out. <laughs> Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Windows PC, my oh, friend. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm into that. I will play this on the PC. I will play this on the PC, 100%. Jesus. We hope you enjoyed your first Yo, look at Halo Infinite's campaign. Nintendo, they're next I'm door. They're next the door neighbors with Nintendo. They walk We're over. thrilled to share a hint <laughs> of the epic battles that await you on the next Kelgos, chapter on of controller, Master Chief's IGN. <laughs> This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Yo, Halo several games. Several times combined. larger? Everybody knows that. Halo Everybody Infinite has been built shit. from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger battles, epic vistas, more complex visual effects. I love epic vistas. Displayed with 10 times the Me processing too. power per hey pixel man, it's of Halo. I Star. love Windows. This will be running at flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to Why life in ways that have that? never been possible before. I don't know, I just do. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite. I don't know why we have months, to make fun of me for it. the first look and <laughs> multiplayer. make fun of you for everything. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family- AJ, I thought we were friends. We are. That's why we make fun of you for everything. I guess you can fight me here. World oh, premiere. New this is the first world premiere, dude. Oh, good. It's We're getting a different game. game. Last of Us Part 3. Could you oh, imagine? The last inning. <laughs> they just show The Last of Us, and they're like, guess what? We're all <laughs> best friends now. <laughs> oh, the Xbox version is the first of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh, he's a bear All right, oh, okay, God. dude. Okay. All I right. too strike the fear into my enemies by screeching. I am also an alpha. Well, that's how bears <laughs> run away. Is you have to scream at them. Jackson, you're never an alpha. <laughs> I'm an alpha. Everybody's I'm, just I'm, I'm, shitting I'm all over Jackson. <laughs> Is that what this is? What? Don't touch it. That's nasty. That's how you get the Rona. <laughs> you got you. <laughs> yeah, come on, updated terms, guys. <laughs> real. What? Oh, that's a oh, zombie. It's in oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, shit! How, oh, dude. I knew it. I couldn't think of the oh. name. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck <laughs> on <Hunt> HD remake. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. Hi, Thank Phil. you for having me. Phil. 
<gasps> Today, Hi, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox game studios. Jesus Christ, you got too many studios. Oh, they're showing Rare. New first party and games. Mojang. What you will see today oh, shit. is how Xbox show me game banjo, studios you are harnessing fucking. their banjo, passions. Banjo, banjo, die. Banjo, redoey. That's what it's supposed to be. Banjo we believe die. that how you find and play Kill your banjo. games is fuck as Jackson. important Jackson. as the Jackson, device shut the you fuck play up. them on. This is I've never played Xbox Game doing. Pass is the best this is way to discover shit, and play. <laughs> and we want you to Everyone to shut up. They're talking about Game Pass. Okay. So game At least I'm a handsome members, piece of shit. You can play every game you see today from your talking subscription about or free to play. Jackson, shut up. <laughs> These games will look oh, wow. and play best on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched fidelity, performance, precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've that built state of the art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport. And Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism. They just said every and native game you see today will be on Game Pass. At yeah. 60 frames per second. They already announced The trailer that you're about to see was <laughs> so, captured good, Did they? Completely yeah, they said all their first party games are going to be on Game Pass. Oh, I didn't know that. World premiere. Can you get Game Pass for PC or is that just. I, no, you can. Yeah. PC and Xbox. Just yeah, right it. now, the Xbox and PC Game Pass are different. And now it includes uh, xCloud. So that's that's like the best deal. It's, yeah, if you if you get the whole Game package Pass in Xbox Live Gold, that's a crazy. Oh, yo, sponsored by WeatherTech, guys. Is this Forza? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> These games, I'm all, I'm, I'm always, I'm perpetually unimpressed by racing games at launch because they're always they always look good <laughs> it's room room like you know they're gonna look great because there's no people in it <laughs> just cars yeah. purely cars he knows i'm yeah, a good driver because i drove his car i'm gonna in mute you in two seconds people, <laughs> in games where are people are about? involved the best looking know. part is always the environment so they yeah. only yes. have to get the parts that are oh, oh. relatively easy Get ready for not banjo. I don't care what it is. It's true. It's still rare. I don't think rare is going to be the one to make banjo. Oh, well. to Golden eye. Sea of Thieves two. The receiving. I think they conquers rare good banjo. fur day. But only a few oh, truly shit. feel it. Jesus. Oh, Tem Tem. <laughs> it is found in the smallest moments. <laughs> In every step of a perilous journey. In the symmetry of a ritual. Yeah, for real. In the bonds we share. Whoa. Yo, it's an Avatar game. For yeah, it does look like Avatar. <laughs> yeah. And in moments of stillness. Oh, it's Zelda. <laughs> it teaches us to look beyond the expected. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't know why just, I mean, Venusaur just places. vomited. <laughs> to seek I love that. answers. <laughs> and to stand watch over our world. Rip. Our world no. has 2020 to 2020. Well, they're sacrificing the avatar to get more Rona. But only a few truly feel it. This is Horizon Zero. Two, one, two, three. <laughs> Horizon's <laughs> open world. <laughs> Whoa. Came a space deer. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. So far, Xbox Series X at Windows PC. Didn't say Xbox One. 
Everwild will give You're to right. you a wow. magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in. You ever it's notice a place when to people be talk eternal. And they, they an put eternal chin up, has the like gift to sense and feel how magic flows <laughs> through nature. It's exactly what she's doing. Every living thing. <laughs> Game's gonna be crap. She's talking with her chin up. Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild, and I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown Yo. their support and love, the Everwild and for the incredible, dash, awesome, positive yeah, community that's deer. already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Head. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Oh, here's Last of Us. Love you, Mom. You we saw, I think this was at the PS5 showcase. Oh. Allison? Yeah. Didn't they just say it was Xbox Games, dude? It doesn't matter. Did they? Yeah, they did. That Where did I see this? I don't know. Is this not Life is Strange? What happened that night was self defense. It might be. Is it? But we couldn't be sure. Oh, is she gonna kill the boy? It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Man. Brother, face, sister, man. we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. Okay, well, We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. <laughs> and the only way to move forward is to keep looking back. That was a cool transition. Like, that doesn't even make sense. We've dude. been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. What the fuck? Cool. The Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. <laughs> Marianne Rona was her name. Did you see she that? She attacked you. <laughs> I'm not the only we one who just saw it. that, right? I <laughs> saw that too. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Can we to play all these? We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. Is that how much it is? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do this. That's for the whole oh, thing. And that gives you live too. Like gives you everything. Yes, this is this is by the studio that made Life is Strange. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I want to play it. <laughs> Butterfly effect. They didn't show that at PlayStation, but they show that at a different showcase. I've seen that before. Unless I'm thinking of a different Life is Strange game. Hey everyone. This My name is, is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today, we are very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. No we way! A time where we can reach levels what? of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now Whoa. run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full. That's full a little much. <laughs> in its highest quality. I don't know if we need that. <laughs> game feel with silky smooth Man, animation, you're be able to super crisp, no sharp like image, and in low <laughs> input latency, which is just so David important Cage, for the tight and precise. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's what I always wanted in a game. platformer: 120 we FPS. We can also boost the immersion. In different spaces in Boost our world the immersions. by using oh that's the immersion knob <laughs> oh it's the <laughs> immersion <laughs> slider in time. and with all of this crazy I didn't know it was all of an audio board to we burst can give the boot our players <laughs> more <laughs> options with how they want to play our game we can't wait for all of you to experience oh it's my favorite characters Ori and, and Ori Owl coming to <laughs> Xbox Series X with smart delivery later this year best friend it's me and you Jack. it's weird because that game I, I, looks I, animated but it's Fucking not. Yo, it's coming to Xbox One. <laughs> I never knew Ori and the Will of the Wisp would come to Xbox. Like oh, illustrated. Hey, I should have said illustrated. Oh, our friend works on this uh, and for Biocollision. Bias, then you're based. Okay, I'm not I, gonna I'm get out of uh, you. <laughs> From the furthest reaches <laughs> of the universe worlds. comes the biggest mystery. I haven't played galaxy. this game yet. An abandoned research facility. In the galaxy. And now, shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon Asteroid. It's big. A sordid stopover. 
full of salacious secrets. They're saucy. Scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case. They wanted us to develop a miracle drunk. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Oh no. Gun. Oh no. this thing. That's a thing. Whatever could it do? Ah. Danger. <laughs> they had the thrills thing Intrigue. on that column. A word of advice before you go, Captain? Trust no one. And sex. Why did she look like she was trustworthy? I don't really get it. What will you find <laughs> on <Nothing>. Gorgon? <laughs> This oh, we're not going to do anything, Jan's burnt. It's Claptrap! <gasps> Didn't say what console or anything. Nope. It, it's we, just DLC for everything. Game. Like, uh, oh, I, uh, this game looks awesome. I'm really excited for it. If you're waiting. It's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the game. The this game looks sick. Game of the year. <laughs> Could you give us a chance to, like, see it? <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> Jackson, are you watching the stream with me, or are you watching it on your own? I we didn't, you you're not covered. live. How would I watch it with you? Oh, you're right. So you are ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm literally watching the, it, the same the thing on Xbox, on Twitch. That are nothing okay. like this one. This summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the I hope I can floss in this game. And go solo. I think this, they said this was Obsidian. Yeah, it, they did. Yeah, it, it showed Cyberpunk before it. What? Which is, I don't know. Why? It was out of do it, I think. Battle <laughs> Toad! They showed a Cyberpunk 2077 logo. I saw it too, but I don't understand. Clearly, this is the prequel to Cyberpunk 2077. The ants take over. <laughs> No, that game looks awesome. I'm really excited about it. Series X, One, and PC. PC. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. It's something we do every day when we come Here to the office. Is. And we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure, Paralon Gorgon. It's the first People of two planned names. story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends from the private division. Now, it's also important that we continue to evolve... They said most anticipated game of the year and then showed the Cyberpunk the logo as a joke. Oh, that really, was the really funny. Been working for <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. How to tell an Obsidian story God within damn. a survival game. If it even comes out this now, year, what's this great point. is that you're going to be able to play the game on July 28th on Maybe Xbox Game eight. Preview and on Steam Early Access. Oh, we want to hear really from you excited. and we want to continue to build ground. I'm going to play this. Oh, yeah. If you've oh, been wondering, oh, we have been working on that the next big Obsidian RPG. Check this out. Yeah, that happened in the trailer. Oh, yes, this is Obsidian. Okay. World premiere. I really like how a guy just goes world premiere. New whenever I have to pay attention. And Master Chief saying it, Jackson. Oh, is it? We have always known oh. war. It's not. Okay. It forged our empire. Age of Empires? Turned heroes Jackson. into queens and kings. Empire. That was, that was enough. <laughs> and decimated our force. I just like Age of Empires. They said it was an RPG. Shot through this man. Age of Empires, the RPG? Are lost. The JRPG. Forsaken. Oh my, wait. Dark Souls? You must face the monsters. That looks like Dark Souls. Our sins have born. This looks like Skyrim is what it looks like. It doesn't look like Skyrim. I, I saw the arrow land and it looked like a bonfire. Worth the weight of a crown. Arrowed. Avowed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, please, please raise Not the Xbox right One. So Obsidian was already, uh, you know, doing the whole uh, Fallout thing. Avowed is an expansive first and now they're doing Skyrim. RPG set Matt in the fantasy Booty. world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this we decided we wanted to be Bethesda, so we're just going to do what they do. 
As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian. Honestly, at this point, they can probably best. do it better and faster. It built from the faster. To take full Definitely. Of the power of Xbox series. <laughs> I don't know, man. Bethesda let me down Studios, recently. We also Bethesda's taking a long time on these sticks. Always with the goal of empowering them to bring it's their ideas to, to life. Work on I'm game excited to announce our work with anyway. Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in, in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Bonjour, I'm Caroline from Interior Night. You're from the UK, you don't get to Our be French. Our team is really passionate <laughs> what? about interactive Jesus. storytelling. Because when you play a story, you step into the character's oh shoes. God. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in Jackson, a world that everyone in Bob's chat is calling you racist. I hope uh, you enjoyed the trip. I don't really think that's racist, but... <laughs> let's let's, let's hear you defend was, yourself was, there. It was, it was a meme. I, I, I mean, like, I'm sorry if I offended any French people. It was, it was clearly a joke. I don't have a I'm problem sorry if you're offended. I'm sorry, Val. Yeah, it's nationalist. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They I they didn't uh, just name over. the correct form of bigotry, Jackson. You piece of shit. <laughs> I just if I get canceled, I just want to be canceled for like the right reason. You know, <laughs> you know that he's on twitchtv scootish, so go cancel him there, not on my channel. It's the end of the road. Jackson's just really about having a very you know xenophobic UK. He's really trying to push that narrative. <laughs> he really just wants it to all be you know. White so English speaking guys. people in the UK <laughs> specifically. Buried in the dark. <laughs> it was just very. I was just very like. Jackson was behind Frank's <laughs> oh head. I've been scared of the shadows. But now. I'm finally ready to step into the light. I don't care if the game is right now. Just talking about his racism. <laughs> I got your letters. Is this still Obsidian? Is it? No. Another no, one that's it, it, not. It's different. It was in game. It was in game or something. That's another one that's not on Xbox One. Here but they, it still says game optimized game for Series X, including Saga talk about Hellblade depression, 2, boys. which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible. Xenophobe is the next game from Model of Saga. <laughs> Hellblade Jackson, sacrifice. didn't we play this at PAX? We're excited to start giving what, you this? insight into what Hellblade? comes next for our Celtic Warriors. Uh, no. I didn't know. Oh, wait, no, no. No, there was no game. Like crazy ass game that, uh, X and PC. uh, Higher Lung did the music for it. I'm happy to reveal today that Senna like was a crazy ass tribal beautiful country metal band of Iceland. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting. Hellblade was one of my favorite games I played the last year development diary, or whenever it came out straight after the show Great. on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. Just really good. That's how it is. Never mind. It's been so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice has had on so many players and we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Senua's story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey from here on out. Okay. Thanks for having us. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's double fine. This is Psychonauts. Oh, oh, wow. Do you want to say hi to Peter? He's oh, what? What? Peter? Peter oh, been shit. There the whole time? Hey, who wrote the song? It's Dan. <laughs> Wait, no, I think this is the other game. I think this is the. Shut um, the fuck up. Love the song. <laughs> 
pretty much. It's I'm sorry. Sing it. Now it's time to to rock. Shall we start rocking? <laughs> That's why. I just think it's the game with Elijah Wood. I don't mm -hmm. think it's Psychonauts. N no, you're wrong. Or, or, the, or maybe the game with I'm fucking what's his face. <laughs> Dan. I hope you don't mind poppins. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Oh, that's him. That's the guy. That's a baby. <laughs> Oh, it's a music video. I Neither know skin nor bone. Just a thought you. is all I've got. Now my cover's blow. At the bottom of a lake. A frozen feeling. When my friends pulled me back up. I started. I wish I was on acid. Right? Wait, hold on. I'll be alright. Holy shit. Whoa. This looks awesome. Senses are the magic keys. They kill the oh my god, Ridley? Unlocking all my memories. Which I never never Five kids. Look at in this game. <laughs> oh, I knew it was Pokemon. <laughs> New gens, baby. Yo, I bet that's only like one level too. Oh, uh, dude, I'm so into this. That was fucking cool. Yeah, that was great. <clears throat> that a hundred percent. We can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just the next so thing much is more Minecraft, for you to play I think. on Xbox. Is that key from something? We are partnering with thousands of creators. Yeah, from the largest I think that's a key for Minecraft. To the smallest independent developers to bring you the broadest variety of games ever. There is Minecraft one developer too. in particular that is close to us. Not just geographically, but in history too. Yeah, I don't think that's a key from Minecraft. This fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny Whoa. 2 to Xbox oh my God. Series oh. X and Xbox oh. Game Pass. If you oh. are isn't it already free to play though? Million Game Pass subscribers, True. You also get access to all current oh, Destiny is it free 2 to play on starting in Stadia. For Game Pass <laughs> Ultimate, it's free to play. No, they just said they just said all the DLC. You get all the DLC. Yeah. From the yeah, cloud. this is about their time for DLC, I guess. Later this year, Bungie cool. will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution Great. running at 60 frames per second. So the PC version. Here's an all new look at <laughs> yeah, Bungie's <laughs> Destiny 2 Beyond Light. It's a port. I've seen God damn, terrible things so born out I in like the darkness. The, the first one. Every moment brings them closer. I loved the original it's Destiny. Yeah, it's I like the second one, I just fell off of it. Yeah, it's just, it's all like the same type of mission. I don't know if they changed it. They, too. they, I'm sure it's a lot better now than it was when it launched. Yeah. No, but the totally. first game was so good and then everybody complained and then they tried to change it to appease everybody. And then everybody thought that they liked it and then stopped playing the game. They, Exactly. They're like, yeah, good, exactly. we got what we wanted, and they stopped playing because they didn't know what they actually wanted. <laughs> they just wanted Halo.
they were mad it took too long to get all of the good stuff. So they're like, alright, fine, here's all the good stuff. And they're like, great, and then they stopped playing. Because <laughs> they got all the good stuff. What's smart delivery again? Is that just like so download? If you buy it for this Xbox One, don't worry, Jackson will tell you. Exactly. Any way you want, thanks okay. to Xbox Game Pass. They weren't gonna tell you. Some of the world's I just most knew what it was. developers are working on games for Xbox Series X, and I'll we're shut just up. honored to be able to collaborate with them. Xbox Series X will empower guys. both new and experienced creators to <laughs> bring the future of games to life like boys, never before. Boys, Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. Does that exclude PC? World she premiere. She happy when she said that. Console launch exclusive. Okay. Ooh, that's that's the first time they showed that. Here's Banjo, boys. Bioshock 4. Whoa. Metro, it's the only game I can think of. <laughs> yeah, right? Knack 3. George Washington. Oh, he's a great guy. <laughs> the fuck? Lightning Bolt, the game. The movie, the game. The series. Super Mario Odyssey 2. <laughs> oh god. Microsoft oh, owns too many studios now. I can't I don't know. For real. You, you can't even think of who's making yeah. this. <laughs> it's Alan Wake 2, dude. Oh. Stalker, too. Windows PC, what? not a console exclusive. What is Stalker stand for? That was an acronym for something. Acronym, sorry. Oh, console launch. So when Xbox Series X comes yeah. out, it'll be out. Okay. I feel like exclusive was the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigations. Our recon squad has been sent oh, into sub level six of the hive shark. to determine the full extent of the unrest. I don't think I've ever seen a fat shark before. I'll know I like, more. I like that name. Make it back. Right. Yo, it's Jinzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Oh. If. Oh, it's a it oh, Warhammer. Oh, it's nerd shit. Everybody abort. Yeah. <laughs> I like Look Warhammer. Good, but it's gonna be an MMO. Um, whatever. World. Well, I, you don't know that. No, it's not only an MMO. Warhammer 40,000 is mostly shooters and beat em ups. Uh, mostly? It's a bunch of different things. Yeah. Hands. You were born. Something changed. My heart could not contain. Are they doing a Sony thing? This is what they did before they showed the console. Of this world and all that it creates. With every passing day, the winds might grow stronger and carry us away. But we will hold on to joy to light the way. Eric. 
Eric, Warhammer is the game where you paint the little figurines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so they made that real. That's... Uh, and uh, you get to paint them for Xbox. There you go. Hey, yeah. it's Tetris, they can't do that. <laughs> oh, this is the link with Nintendo, watch. Oh, please. Oh my god. I'd lose my shit. Oh, some of those guys are so not playing games right now. Oh! Oh, it is Tetris. Oh, this is Tetris Effect. Yeah! This is cool. This I'm actually, like, super pumped for this. But it, was, it came out for PlayStation, so I guess they're just doing it for Xbox now. What is this? Multiplayer? This is Tetris Effect, but with an A instead of an E. Connected. <laughs> oh. Okay. So Official nice. Tetris product. I like how they have to put that. Because <laughs> the license is so such a mess. Look, it's Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Dude, I knew that was a flood. <laughs> the gunk, baby. That's, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> uh, that was for mine was all consoles. <laughs> At least you're consistent, dude. <laughs> mine was Sasquatch. Help. <gasps> oh my god. Fucked up. Why'd you do that to Butterfree? <laughs> it all starts. And it was in the other game too. Run. You're right, AJ. Shit. Same fucking butterfly. The forest. The moon. Oh god. Scent of pines. Jackson, turn the lights and off. Get all spooky. I don't wanna. The gunshot. Every story has two sides. A regular, rational one. But also a dark oh, this is and life deeper is truth. No, it's not. Not unlike a nightmare. You could tell it's life is strange because the animation is not great. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda game now. <laughs> Whoa. Show me, show more of that. Oh, shit. This looks like a remedy. <laughs> Jackson, why'd you actually turn the lights off? I wasn't serious. Oh, shit. Oh. I would be too afraid to play this game. Oh, oh shit. 
get it. <laughs> the medium. Oh, they talked about this before. That they looked did, right. That looked really cool. World yeah. playing premiere. both screens at the same time. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm very. Uh, I'd be very afraid of that. Be a bitch, Jackson. No, he really is, AJ. Oh, yeah. Sonic. Oh. Oh, I. I hope it's Sonic. <laughs> Do a Bird. spin dash! <laughs> no, it's sort of. Oh! Fantasy, Fantasy Star, Star, you fucking dummy! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aren't they the same thing? That's also racist. Yeah. How? It's just because they're, they're, they're in May. Online anime sword games. I did want to try this. But there's the, unknown threats. The beta was on Xbox One. Oh, really? Yeah. Has a beat sword. Now he's got a gun. Four. This is not my type of game at all, but for whatever reason, I think this looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a mix of Xenoblade, Monster Hunter. Yeah. It's like a Xenoblade, like Monster Hunter world, essentially. I just said that. <laughs> I know, I'm agreeing. Yeah, but now <laughs> Jackson said it and he said it louder. Right. So now it's verified. <laughs> I agree with you. Is that a new Fantasy Star Online? Well, I need oh, two. Cool. Okay. It's an expansion, I guess. Luis Torres. Yeah, look that up. I've seen your future. Global risk is get off the weapon. Fantasy Star Online 2 came out in Japan in 2012. <laughs> it didn't come out in America until May of this year. Wow. What? Yeah. Xbox made a big deal about that. I don't remember. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, that's an expansion or something. What's up, Camper? Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? That's so dumb. <laughs> 17 seconds. Free to play, gold required. Soon, the entire world will burn. All because of him. Whoa. This is looking pretty crisis to me. Right? Yeah. Like, oh my god, he chopped his head off. That's clean. You saw that pop off? Oh, it's mm. cool. It's, Did you it's, hear what the, 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 the girl was saying X gun give it to you, but like very slow. Oh my god. I was like, come on, man. Game Pass members can you protect can me from fate? You have seen today, Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in that the looks cool, though. Or it said the multiplayer was free to play. That was weird. So that looked out, like a lot of single player to, to me. Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized some you're gonna for Xbox hate. Series X. Games like Forza Horizon I'm still 4, confused about Gears the whole ecosystem. CFPs. You'll get the next-gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect okay. a lineup of over 100 titles so. for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X wow. and Game Pass, wow. Xbox is the place to play. And you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox Game Studios today. That means we'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. It's Fable. It's Fable. 
Please be Fable. World premiere. Oh, be Banjo. Fuck Fable. I really <laughs> fuck Banjo. Conk you. I hope it's Goldeneye. <laughs> it's outside. It must be Fable. Dude, rip. Oh, it's Playground. Yeah, it's Fable. It's Fable. <gasps> Jackson, why are you surprised? <laughs> why are you surprised? <laughs> it's not surprised. It's just happy. It looks so good. Tinkerbell. Treacherous. And gameplay, this could be the CG render, dude. Yeah. I don't care. I just love Fable, man. I love and knights and stuff. Places. No, Fable. I like Fable too. Uh, Fable two specifically. I don't like, think I like this is Fable. Fable. <laughs> Perfect harmony. Oh. <laughs> this is fable. No, Never mind. Stories have happy endings. Oh my god, that was fucking Yours great. Has yet to be written. Oh, yeah. it's just regular old fable. So it's a remake. Other games don't or exist. Or a reboot. <laughs> a re yeah, Sounds like it, a reboot to me. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a reboot. Oh, now I have to show their. Uh, this is what we showed. Mm. Did you forget? <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that was part of the <laughs> recap. All right, so can I play Halo now? Yeah, right. I thought they were going to show us more Halo. Yeah, I was surprised that that wasn't the whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Lockhart? 58 minutes. Come on. I mean, they're not—they're not showing off bad games. Like, they're all pretty. I could look forward to this. I liked what I saw. Granted, I'm probably just gonna play it all on PC. But I, mean, I don't whatever. think they care. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. What does your PC run on? You Almost know? everything they showed was on PC. Yeah. I think there was one game that wasn't on PC, but I don't even remember which one it was. Are you guys getting the Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm obligated to. You're obligated. That's. I feel like. I feel like that makes sense. Are you getting both though, Bob? Yes. He has to. <laughs> yeah. Bob has to Are do you all the controllers for Xbox One X. Yeah. But I don't. Have to. <laughs> yeah. AJ's like, yeah, I'll just come over. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna get both, I think. Yeah, I feel like eventually that just will happen where it'll be everywhere. Is that That's it? it? You're welcome. No Xbox. Lockhart, I'm upset. Well, they kind of, I mean, they telegraphed that. I think, I think Lockhart no might come hardware, out next year. Just games. <laughs> I, I think it might come out next year. I'll be upset. Can they say they're gonna have another thing in August though? Yeah. Kale, yeah, they're not they're, they're they were doing, never gonna they, show I think the they're doing one a month. Software. Yeah, this was all software, no no hardware. Yeah, but I you know, they don't have to that's say we're gonna announce the price. <laughs> but if they're gonna do another thing, you would assume it's gonna be like at their last thing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's it's so late for price right now. It's like unprecedented un I can't say that word. Unprecedented it's weird. Come on. <laughs> it's weird how late it is for the for the price to be announced, and how and how close we are to the console's launch. Yeah, I, I still think it's gonna be. Um, well, I, I, cha I changed it. Originally, I said five ninety nine, four ninety nine. I think it's gonna be four ninety nine, four forty nine for PS five, and then for Xbox, I don't know, maybe like four ninety nine, three ninety nine for the two. I don't know. Or actually. No, I, I think if they, do, if they do Lockhart, it's going to be fucking stupid cheap. <laughs> I get, yeah, I get to see three ninety nine two forty nine. Xbox like Series X, my my prediction: Xbox Series X five hundo, Lockhart three hundo, PlayStation five five fifty. I agree. Or six hundred, but probably five fifty. I, I, I can see the disc was one being a hundred dollars cheaper. Maybe fifty. I don't. I I. I think it's up I'm in the air with the discless one. Be cheaper. I feel like Jiggy saying, "Are you okay?" Two forty. I well, I just think that they're gonna make that tiny Xbox like as cheap as possible. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't they? 
at two two ninety nine or something. Five, I think yeah, six hundred or five hundred. The, the the weird thing like, uh, like uh, the Lockhart should be priced similarly to uh, the Xbox One S. And we were talking about this on the podcast last night. The Xbox One S, you find it everywhere for like two hundred bucks, but the MSRP is three hundred bucks. Yeah, so like, so, yeah, so like we're going by the MSRP, but eventually it'll like next year it'll be significantly cheaper. Totally. Yeah, but PS Five. I, originally, I was saying six hundred, five hundred. It's pos. It's possible it could be up I, upwards I of six hundred dollars. But so now I just I'm did. Thinking, a, yeah, I just did a ton of googling because I've never heard of the Lockhart before. 20 minutes ago. The tiny Xbox. I, I did, did not you, know that was a thing. Did you think it was a game? Well, it's a rumor. No. It's a rumor. No, I just thing. didn't know. Yeah, I didn't. All, I just didn't, I've never game. heard of it. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know about this rumor. Uh, I just read up on it. I think in no way it can be uh, the price of a Switch Lite. I think it could be the price of a Switch, but I imagine it's going to be like $350. I think it's gonna be like 300 350 i just I think it, that, it, it's I gonna it's gonna that. be comparable to the one s i just see i just think like 299 is like such a good price for consoles that they wouldn't pass that up because it yeah. just sa- it just sounds so cheap you know mm-hmm. like i'm sure like they could do yeah. switch light prices if they really wanted to but i think that they're gonna like try to push the same thing that Nintendo did with Switch, where it's like it's not like at cost. It's not like it cost us this much to make this thing. It's like no, it's our new thing, so this is how much it costs. I yeah. think that there's going to be a level of that with uh, Lockhart. Yeah, probably. Wait, Camp Casey, what are you talking about? Abe's voice does it for me. What are you so talking sorry. about? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> talking about the trailer. He said, he said, I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. You're um, Abe, right? The, you're yeah, that guy. I'm Abe. I'm Abe. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going, dudes? I'm Abe. <laughs> um, Do you think... Yeah, I don't I, know. I think that was... I think that was pretty good. Yeah. I, re- I honestly don't think that was... I think that was pretty comparable to the PlayStation 1. I don't, I don't think... Uh, I, I, I don't think either of them are ahead at this point. Uh, well, the, well, for me, the PlayStation 1, for me, at first, I think I was a little bit higher on it than I am on this, just because of Spider-Man. Yeah. But then after the fact, Spider-Man was like, it's not a full-on game and blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm about the same, which is not, I'm not like down on either. It's I, just I, like, I'm definitely cool. more excited for Spider-Man, uh, but uh, Halo is also a big deal. I'm, I'm not as excited for Halo, but I know that it's a huge deal for a lot of people. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I think that like yeah, the, the games that I saw that I'm like, that's interesting. I'll play that. I've seen more of those with Xbox, but the highs are higher with PlayStation. But also those thought, were all yeah. those were all Microsoft exclusives that we saw today. Sure. And in the PlayStation yeah, in the PlayStation announcement, a lot of the the things that I enjoyed that I was like, I can't wait to play that are multi-platform games. <laughs> Yeah. There was like, really, as far as like PlayStation exclusives, I'm definitely playing Spider Man. I'm definitely playing Ratchet, and I'm definitely playing Horizon in fucking 2022 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the Xbox, I mean, for everything outside of that, where it was like, oh, that looks neat, and that looks neat, and that looks neat. There's more of those on Xbox for me than there are PlayStation. They were also showing uh, a lot of like, oh, this game's gonna be put on the PS5, like GTA. Like they did right, that a lot. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So was, the good thing I like that they were going full on exclusive with this. Uh, but, well, uh, yeah. For me, I I think PlayStation Five had a better show. Um, I definitely was like for every game for PlayStation, I was like, oh, I really want to play that. And for this, I just didn't care for most of the games, aside from like three that i can list and one of them wasn't even in this showcase it was in the pre-show uh, i don't even know what they announced in the pre-show yeah I'd like i was not paying like attention that they showed off in the pre-show I, they announced an amazing platformer and i'm really excited about it oh yeah uh, it's uh kingdom hearts it's not kingdom hearts <laughs> it was it was a square enix game though it's made by the guy who made uh sonic and dreams yeah and that that was announced in the pre-show what it yeah, it's called, called Dono, Dono or something. Project the Lamb. What? Yeah. 
or Blam Wonder World or something? Yeah. So yeah, Wonder World. There was a whole game that they that they showed off. Um, that was uh that was in the pre-show that looked pretty cool. Wonder Worlds. Yeah, Wonder Worlds. Just Let's go. No, this game looks Naka. like it came out in 2017. Just looked up Yuji Naka uh, Xbox. That's what I typed into Google. Uh, nice. Wait, hold on. Camper Casey, I need to let you know that I have not been in Blockhead Gaming since uh, since January. Abe is nowhere near this stream. <laughs> I'm talking to Scootish, AJ from Fanatics, yeah. and uh, and Bob Wolf from Wolf Den. I don't know. Casey, you should know that. I've, to I've talked to you through that process so many times. What the fuck? If only and, someone who controlled the blockhead accounts made a statement. Wait, where is right? somebody oh. show me this game? Uh, yeah, Jackson, send it in Bob's. Uh, I'll link it. I'm trying to find it. it. I just got it. I think there were more exclusives that I cared about in the PlayStation One, but uh, yeah, I agree I'm just you. happy that they talked time. about any exclusives at all today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I like I liked Halo Halo Three Remastered. It looked cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Balin, thank yeah, you. Balin Underworld. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Balin Wonderworld. <laughs> There's, uh, the, you, you guys said like four completely wrong names. <laughs> I'm reading I typed your, in uh... Xbox, and it's the first thing that popped up. So him telling me that it was made by the person that made Sonic was enough. I was like, okay, got it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Strange and mysterious land. That you visit it's when you literally to a like a chibi life. Kingdom Hearts. It's not. It looks like it in the trailer. That, it looks more like Dragon Quest than Kingdom Hearts. If I said chibi, it's chibi. It looks like knights, dude. <laughs> yeah. Don't disgrace Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to raise good. that money and you're going to play it. It's all good, Casey. You better. Bob, I told Jackson that he has to uh, raise $10,000 for me to play Kingdom Hearts 3. So in other words, he's never playing Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> Over oh my god, that was just Knuckles. Yeah, straight up. And, Meg and Rayman, saw that one? No, actually that was the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Yes. Yo, I'm really sad, but I think Square Enix ruined Crystal Chronicles HD. To discover what's most precious. Two man. There's no multiplayer in it this time. Oh really? Yeah, that was like the whole point of Crystal Chronicles. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> me, me too, me too. <laughs> Nobody was saying anything, so I just. <laughs> no, no, I, I wanted it to be that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, Dutch Money, thank you for the two months of Twitch Prime subs. I appreciate it. That looked cool. What was that? I missed if that was an exclusive. It, uh, I don't know. I that was a pre-show. I think it is. It it says it is. Anyway. Series X and Xbox One, not PC. Oh, okay, so no PC. 4K Ultra HD. I'm still super confused about the ecosystem. Uh, I get. I guess because. I keep thinking like they're just gonna open the ecosystem up oh. to like it doesn't matter where you play these games. I'm and, sorry. A quick Google search. Just dis I just discovered Balan Wonderworlds coming out on all the systems, including Switch. Oh, so then why didn't they say that? Because this wasn't right. even part of the Xbox showcase. This was the yeah, I think that's why it wasn't. Because they want to keep the showcase to the stuff that's just Xbox. But it was the it was the Summer Games Fest. 
thing. You know, it wasn't it? I wasn't on the X. Oh wait, this is on the Xbox channel. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying the reason why they didn't show the Balin Wonder World or whatever the fuck during the showcase. That's dumb. No, that's because that's what's stupid. What's the difference between? Just Rock put the frickin' other things down there. What is the what is the difference between Lockhart and something? Lockhart is a rumor right now. Okay. But there's a lot of leaks about it. It's just a less powerful console. Think about it like the Xbox One X versus the Xbox One S. Got it. So Lockhart would be the S of the next generation. Got it. It's even like more anemic than that, it sounds. It sounds like it's like supposed to be more a play towards playing games through xCloud than it is like the next generation so, version of so, something. So that's my It's supposed to be supposed to be less powerful than the X is. As far yes. as a lot of people are pointing towards. Uh, that's my take on it is that it's going to be like a digital thing to play their games via streaming. But uh, that's a hot take. <laughs> because it does ha it also has a lot of it it's it's, it's going to be able to play all the games for the next few years cuz so will Xbox One series. Yeah. I mean, it's like Xbox One S, right? Um I think that the, they're going to try to push it as like it looks just as good if you play games through xCloud you know like that that sort of thing. yeah yeah in the in the far future like two or three years it, it uh, most of the games will be played through streaming um the they're also getting rid of the xbox one x they're not making it anymore so so like oh, that really leaves more clout to the fact that the lockhart would be a streaming device Oh wow! Because I thought One X would have been the, they would have just turned this into a. Also, I wonder what that means, right? Because like they they said they're discontinuing it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we won't be able to find it anymore. It's not like the Xbox One X sold like crazy. Right, it'll still be in stores like this holiday, but like barely, you know. It's just whatever yeah. stocks left over. I think they're just like not making any new ones. Is mm -hmm. what they mean. That is, I, yeah. I don't know. That's what discontinued means. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know things. <laughs> no, but they said also, they said they're it, ending it production also, on the One X. Yeah, and it usually means that they're ending like support too. But I, I don't know if they're going well, to do I that mean, anymore. Are they? Are they like Nintendo that will like they supported the Wii up until a certain point in time? I mean, they still make fucking. They Nintendo. are not like Nintendo in that way. Like okay. the, the Nintendo supports things super like they support uh uh customer service on things way later than any other company yeah yeah they just move it in another like category so like they'll have the game i mean the the consoles that are still like quote unquote in production you know whether they're basically making them or not and then they have like a legacy category so like you can call them like hey my x uh, my fucking n64 is fucked and there's a level of support that they'll do so if but i call that number on the back of my original game boy someone will answer is that what you're telling me possibly no no yes that's still their number <laughs> oh shit okay that's cool i didn't know that i always thought that it wasn't um i was saying something Oh, about the ecosystem. Um, so, I always everything points to them being leaning towards a more homogenous ecosystem. But then we People still. Same. Wood wants to raid. How long? How much longer are you going to stream? Raid. raid, uh, raid. I don't know how much longer <laughs> I'm going to stream. This, this is there's a lot of pressure here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna raid me. I'm gonna raid. Me. Well, we're gonna be talking about the game for a little longer. Does he want to hop in the Discord and talk for like two seconds? Um. Anyway. AJ calls Nintendo and tells him his Xbox is fucked up. <laughs> I mean, they work together, so fuck it. Why not? When are you gonna stream tonight? I'm gonna stream at 8 p.m. tonight, probably Eastern time. I have no idea. Can I finish talking about the ecosystem? Did you get yeah. Crisis? Oh, I gotta get Crisis. I don't know if I want to stream Crisis. I got a code for crisis that's why i actually you guys get a code for carry on yes i did i gotta Are get that too tweet about it. i'm gonna i'm gonna play it probably after this i was confused for a second i thought i might have not been able to make that tweet but then i looked at the the dm that i got and i was like okay yeah i'm good i'm good i didn't make oh, it you saw yeah that i was like i was like is that embargoed it is yeah. it was embargoed but i was allowed to make because that the cover art was already oh, the game okay. came out today, so because that's a big deal people get real 
you know, it's always on the Nintendo Switch subreddit. Whenever there's a new game, they show the box art or the they show the home icon, and people yeah. would get all mad about it. Yeah, it was like, oh shit, wait, let me think. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, I'm fine. Everything's good. <laughs> And then they they emailed me like four times yesterday because they were like, uh, like, okay, we moved the embargo. And then they emailed me again. Okay, we moved the embargo an hour. And they said, okay, the embargo's yeeted. It doesn't matter anymore. Xbox release early. Fuck it. (laughs) Um, Can I talk about the ecosystem? (laughs) For the love of God. Um, They kept showing, like, almost every game said xbox one xbox series x and pc but there were some there was at least one game that didn't say pc and there were a lot of games that didn't say xbox one but still had the optimized on series x icon there Mm. so that was very confusing I think a lot of those either were already confirmed or exist on xbox one so they they don't really need to say that they're no. also coming to that. I think they do. Well, did it have the smart delivery? Because because when they when they announce a new game for a new platform, the, at the end at the end it won't just say one of the platforms; it'll say all the platforms it's for. True. Just tell Wood to do it. All right. <laughs> just tell him to do it. I already I already I already answered you. <laughs> I just don't want to take it from somebody else if he wants to raid somebody else. I mean, we're going to raid somebody uh, else. Okay. Yeah, That's a good point. Me That's later, a good point. Because I'm going to stay alive. <laughs> I'm going to play carry on after this. So. I have it ready to go. Raid raid guy with the hair. How about that? <laughs> there you go. Just go straight to him. Yeah, I guarantee you what's going to be like. Who's Is Wood still on? He should like, get in. I, I want him in the Discord group. For goal. real, bro. <laughs> Do, though that's the Nuh-uh. thing i've been in his house i'm literally in his ring fit video <laughs> tell wood to get into my discord call if you if you if, I just, I just tell your know. tell your uh hey, superior to get in my discord call <laughs> <laughs> dude someone has a playstation going off in the background wait what uh what do we got here D. Mathen, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Colin Plastic, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> I just I just gotta point out. Hold on. Can I show this on screen? Is this gonna work? I just have to point out that uh Jackson's the only one with his webcam in the no, Discord he's call. He's in my stream. Yeah. Oh, so you're streaming. Oh, so you're streaming I'm, I'm that. Okay. His, his camera. That's I told okay. him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I can turn it off if it would please. No, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. You want me to put mine on. Here's mine. You want this? Here's mine. Uh, hold on. It's cool. literally the stream. There we go. It looks cute. I'm adorable. There we go. There it is. <laughs> I've been. I don't want to make There's anyone Jackson. angry. Jackson, turn off. <laughs> no, I can't even turn, Wait, it, turn off your camera. No, never turn mind. off your camera. I. That's not how that works. <laughs> turn off your camera. Anyway. I look nice and big on Bob's stream. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Look at you. Oh, you're right. I'll just. I'll turn big man. All right. No, if you, now I can't see you, Jackson. Oh, what do you want? Do you want me to put <laughs> no, the camera on or do you want me to turn the camera off? Keep it on. Just keep it you on. You can't like, go back and forth with me. You tell me to do one thing, and then I do it, and then you're like, no, you fucking idiot. But I did what you said. So you're the idiot. You're the idiot. I told you to keep it on. I said don't turn it off. Dude, thanks for, oh thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> Why don't drink? Don't make that your excuse to drink. Why are you? What is that? That looked like a red ball. Oh Oh my god. (laughs) Why? Really gross. Accent is what not to be. Why are you doing that? (laughs) It's not a good flavor, guys. What flavor is it? Clementine. 
Ew. It's their 70 calorie. It tastes like shit. Tangerine's really good. Pineapple's really I good. Didn't, yeah, I didn't that, know Clementine was a flavor. Wonder. It's their 70 calorie series. It's poo poo. I no, the, the 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 pineapple's really good. Pineapple's really good. It's my favorite. But Clementine is bad. Tangerine's great. Bob, do you have anything else to say about the about ecosystem? About the, uh, ecosystem? I feel like I'm done with the ecosystem. That was it. Thing. I'm done. Okay. I just wanted to get that out there. You know that I'm, I'm, I'm weirded out by. Delivery. I'm weirded That's out cool. that things are. It, 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 it's confusing messaging. Um. Smart delivery? Why is your dog? Oh, it's why is your dog on East Street? <laughs> <laughs> oh my good lord! Just uh, don't let Jerry uh, get one of those, you know? <laughs> we hear in the song. Well, then again, maybe no. Tell him to do it, because then he won't have to play it through. I want. Well, I want to be able to have. I got. I want to set up Sound Banana or whatever the hell it is, so that all of my desktop audio goes through. Uh, Discord, although that might be oh, a problem. Voice meter? Isn't it sound banana? Or are they the same oh, thing? Voice meter banana. They have like oh, different. Oh, yeah. Voice meter potato, voice meter banana, and then voice meter uh, something else. Yeah, I want to set that up. Yeah, you could you could digitally send your shit to. But like right now, I'm playing music and you're streaming. I don't know if I would have wanted to do that. I'm playing music too. Oh. Yes, I don't know if that. Oh, but yeah, so I, I understand what you mean. I mean, if you if you go in most of the time, I'm streaming with people who uh, or, or, or aren't streaming or or don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Well, it's so like if I get a notification, like it doesn't really matter. I appreciate that, Bob. I'm glad you don't care about me. <laughs> <laughs> if you get groovy, you can get groovy, and and that'll be part of your Discord call. Oh, that's that. That's like uh, plays music, right? Yeah. So yeah. you could like have that play. Oh God, I fucked up. If you do that, then you can have, um, you could just have music playing from Spotify. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw that there's one that you can like pick YouTube videos to play and stuff. It'll play music. Yeah. Yeah, that's groovy. No, there's a different, Greg has a different one. I mean, there there's like thousands that do the same thing. And by thousands, I mean three. <laughs> uh rhythm oh yeah rhythm is another one uh let's read some chat here uh soundflower can fuck off soundflower <laughs> sucks sorry i'd like to make a point that would in fact did not raid either of us good who would he raid i don't know let's Dude. go and beat them up i know where they live See, I actually have his address. <laughs> I don't. I didn't want to. I don't want to take his raid. You know what I'm saying? No. I, Let's I, egg his house. Dramakin. I'm not gonna stay on too long. He raided Dramakin. Or Shihiro's mom. Oh, okay. It's probably for the best. <laughs> um. Anyway. You were playing hard to get. <laughs> That's my game, dude. I, do. I also don't want to be like, yeah, raid me, please. Yeah. True. Let me suck on your teeth. I also don't. <laughs> I also don't think you were playing hard to get. I think you were just like, yeah, like, said, yeah, do whatever it. you want to do, man. Yeah. That I that I understand. It. I was playing hard to get. I I would say I was playing hard to get. He wanted me to say, yes, please do it right now. It is when you're about to raid somebody and you want to get off. It's see that. See, you can't use those words together. That sounds weird. I'm <laughs> fucking doing it. It you you it, it's it. It's a little stressful trying to find somebody to raid. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I just pick like whoever I want to pick and it takes me five seconds. But, you know, whatever. I have like eight. I always, I have like a little tiny mental breakdown right before I raid somebody. Yeah, you like really? pretty much every oh, time. Dude, I, 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 unless, I'm, I'm, unless, I'm the problem. I'm the problem on this. unless it's somebody like one of you guys that's on and it's obvious, like oh, I'm gonna raid one of these people. But if 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 it's not, then I'm I like have a little tiny mental breakdown. You have to yeah. start looking at somebody and you'd be like, oh, this person has four viewers playing Animal Crossing. I'll raid that person and then make mm -hmm. their fucking day. You have to like find someone that like fits the vibe. I, of your I don't show. like I don't like raiding random people though because uh, 
because they might say some wild shit and then you're yeah. like oh, dude i rated someone random and they just started spouting like a lot of pro trump stuff and i was like oh okay <laughs> It was a it was a weird time. Jackson lives to raid his simp trap. I raided Luna, and he's just like you're simping, and I'm like, no, no she's my friend. I want to I want to read chat that's talking about the Xbox Series X okay, and go whatever. Okay, I'm waiting for it to come up because I feel like they were talking about it before and we were just completely ignoring them yeah. talking about our own shit. Yeah, we were. I'm sorry, Bob. I want to play Everwild. I want to play the gunk. The I want to play, wanna play the gunk. Um, I mean, I'm let me just get my varsity it. jacket and we can <laughs> come over and you can play the gunk. <laughs> gunk that, that looked cool though. The, the gunk. It, it was like it almost was like uh, Astroneer. That looked and, interesting. Uh, yeah, I like that. Down, I would down. I would look into it. The I ones with the dual worlds looks know. nice. Which one was oh, that? Medium. 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 The medium looks looks sick. Yeah, medium looks sick. awesome. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. And my I, that was super dope. I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna cry. But yeah, man, that's perfect for streams. So now, you, so now you've seen both, Bob. Which are you leaning towards? I, I said before, I don't think one did a better job than the other. I think that they're both pretty much still on an even playing field. Um, except Game Pass is like, I'm still not 100% sold on Game Pass because I like owning the games, but uh, just be for collector's sake. But uh, Game Pass is a really, really, really nice selling point. Yeah, I, if, if, I, if I didn't do this stuff, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, I would 100%, if it was just a thing of like, uh, having a console to be able to play games and I only own one console and that's it and blah blah I would 1000 percent buy the series X. Because it just it just seems like a better value um, overall. Because it's like I buy the console, I spend fifteen dollars a month and I can play every game that they release for the for the next few years or whatever, if not the life of the console. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. that's somebody that like likes the zeitgeist and being a part of the you know big games and the exclusives and shit and I like Spider Man and Ratchet and Clank and all that stuff, I gotta buy both. <laughs> I was muted. <laughs> I was muted. Uh, <laughs> we back. Yeah. I have nothing against OBS. I just have been using XSplit for long enough now that I don't want to switch. I'm the opposite. I was using XSplit for so long and then I switched. And now I don't want to switch back. But this fucking thing is being a pain in the ass. Okay, I mean, it crashes, but also it does that thing where it just drops connection for like a second and then comes back. And I know that it's not my internet because I'm in a freaking call with people when it happens. True. It's true. Mine it's does true. that too, honestly. It's very true. You're what, OBS? Oh, my X split. What, it just... What, it crashes? It will lose connection for like a second. Yeah, that's so... And, and then uh, and the stream ends and it's fucking the worst. Yeah. And it, yeah, it sucks. I hate it. Can you? Can I remember there being an option in XSplit to set up a backup server? Is uh, that only a YouTube thing? I don't know. Because that's it's a really cool thing, thing to have. Now. You do set up output. I'm gonna look at the settings. I can't do it while I'm streaming. Hold on. Actually, well, I could do this. Uh, you can have it like delay, but in terms of back up I don't know I have to look at it oh. hey uh, I just got the press release for uh, Balin Wonder World <laughs> did you yeah. I'm really excited about that game I'm really really excited for that game should be that's definitely a game for you a platformer in a musical theater world that like yes please bring my, 2021 my price product predictions whoever reveals first 500 dollars second will be cheaper if it's even by 50 dollars um i don't think uh, i don't think I don't uh, so, so the rumor is that playstation uh is having a hard time trying to decide what their price is going to be um i think it would be uh i i think 
I think Xbox has it down. They know what their price is going to be. <clears throat> They're confident in their price structure. And I think that PlayStation is just like, this is the best we could do. <laughs> no matter what. I don't know if they're even, like, people are saying they're waiting for one to reveal so that the other one could be cheaper and stuff. Um, I don't think, I honestly don't think that they could do that. It just Microsoft might have wiggle room, but um, I don't think they would even do that because they're trying to sell a service. So they don't even care. They don't even care. If you buy the console, they're still going to make their money off the service. They don't care about the... The hardware sales. It's a, a PC skew that they get a commission on. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, seriously. A bigger commission, I guess. They kind of get a commission on all of them, unless you don't install Windows. Yeah, it it definitely stinks that they're not like uh, telling us the price point, just because like I know for me, like I want to save up money and just have it set aside so I can budget my life and I am it's just weird that we don't know the prices yet for me it's probably gonna be the same thing my brother gets one of them I get the other that's usually how we do this and I'm probably gonna get PS5 and he's probably gonna get Xbox so I'll have both one way or another I'd rather not buy them all at once like literally like the same day <laughs> but like no, I, I i get that yeah <laughs> happens. what i did last gen was i just got xbox first because titanfall and playstation mm. didn't have any anymore and then corona the world <laughs> shut down <laughs> and the world shut down and i was like well i guess i got nothing else to do Great. i'm back <laughs> life's a toilet <laughs> I'm not touching the stream anymore. This is the layout you're getting. <laughs> okay. Every time you come back, it unmutes the stream for me. And I'm like, what the fuck is that sound? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh. It's so annoying. You had a trilogy already. There's zero reason for this, for OBS to be straight up crashing. It's it has, it takes up power. like, Gen. Right now, it's taking up 10% CPU, which is the most that it's ever taken up. Well, isn't it also you've been having issues with your computer in general, or...? I've been having issues with the Mac partition. Not really, no. Well, it, the, the issue is that I can't update the Mac partition. That's the issue. Mm. Mm. And for whatever reason on Windows, the freaking USB devices are weird. Every I've never had a Windows computer where I don't have to do something wacky to get things to work. Like, for example, my cam link. Every time I want to start the stream, I have to unplug the cam link and plug it back in. Oh, that happens to me, too. Not all and the time. The cool thing is that you can do the wacky shit, Bob. That's but, the cool thing, right? But, but That's right? the beauty of it. <laughs> so, so, so what I have to do every time I when I start my stream, I have to... I turn my stream on, I see the cam link doesn't, it's not showing up, okay, this happens every single time. I have to right click the cam link, I gotta go to properties, and then I have to unplug it and plug it back in, and then I click cancel on the properties, and then it works. I have to do that exact sequence in order to get the cam link to work. So what happens to me with XSplit is, sometimes I have to unplug it and plug it into a different USB port, or... It'll just not show up, and then there's a little refresh tab on each property, and I'll just hit that, and then it'll it'll shake them up. But sometimes it doesn't show up the camera like this. It shows up everything super dark, and I have to refresh all the fucking oh my god brightness settings. It's it's fun. my 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 Logitech webcam used to reset all of its settings all the time. Oh dude, that that's all the time. That's that's Jackson right now. Wait, what? Did it go down again? What? Somebody, uh, youth hurt in the chat. What, what, what is Jackson right now? I no, apologize. they're probably they're probably delayed. I'm I'm good. Okay, all right, never mind. She's the only one. Yeah. She's the only one that says. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. I was like, oh god. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need your help to set up Streamlabs, but Jackson. Remember I'll when we went to chat to talk about that? Remember that? Please, I'm so bad at it. it. Became, uh, uh, OBS the stream. <laughs> Even with Game Pass being a thing, I think I'm still leaning towards PS5. I already habitually buy the PS5. What? I think you mean PS4. And I rather Sony exclusives. 
And I'm gonna play that much games to, and I'm not gonna play that much games to where Game Pass is really necessary. So I guess it's quality over quantity. And for what I play, usually, Sony usually gives me the quality. So I don't know what game, so right now, well, game. Hmm. What is the bund? Game Pass with Gold is called Xbox Ultimate, right? Yeah. And how much yeah. is that a year? Uh, isn't it like fifteen dollars? It's fifteen dollars a month. For a month. That's a month. That's a month. What are you thinking? A Nintendo over here? <laughs> so if I want a year, I'm afraid to touch my computer right now. If if I get a if I want a year of Ultimate. How much is it? Three months is forty five dollars. One hundred and twenty for a year. That's that's nice. ten bucks a month. That's not bad, dude. Oh wait, 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 wait. Because that that's like buying two services. You made the TLDR. I think they. I heard a rumor that they were gonna make live uh free. So th you heard that rumor because they're bringing they're roping X Cloud into the ultimate subscription. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 it's 120. I don't so, think I don't think uh, gold gold is gonna be free. I think that uh, I think it's possible that it might be free, but I I think that it it'd be weird because they there's people who buy Xbox Live Gold, there's people who buy Game Pass. Uh, I think I think they they're just gonna up do... the price a little bit and have it all one thing. Probably. I think what they might do is make certain aspects of gold free so like let you yes. play online without paying for a subscription or whatever but then everything else like you know the two free games through uh what the fuck is it called games with gold uh and that like the other perks of gold be part of game pass ultimate or whatever so 120 dollars for game pass is, is that's for two game games pass, it's 180 it's 180 it says it's 60 for gold and then 120 for game pass on this article it's 120 dollars for game pass jesus christ i think they're gonna lower the price of game pass and merge the two together that's what i think i can see that or i guess i should say they're just gonna lower the price of the ultimate subscription thing about Game and, and then that's gonna be the only thing you can get is the ultimate subscription it's early adopters they fucking they got over hard <laughs> on xbox because like for the first three months or whatever it was a year and then you could just buy xbox live gold or if you already had xbox live gold it bundled in with however much time you had on that oh wow so like there are people that spent the dollar to get the three months and then bought another three years of xbox live gold for like you know they went to like cd keys or whatever fucking got them for like 30 dollars they spent like 90 dollars for three years of free xbox games and online and all that shit for three years that's why anyway 180 dollars is a lot of money uh but 120 dollars is two games so i was gonna say if you're buying two games then it's worth just buying game pass for the year uh you know True. but 180 dollars that's three games <laughs> and I like, I would say it doesn't seem like that's a cost savings buying it bundled anyway. So I would just, what I do is like, oh, I think I'm, there's a game coming out on Xbox. I'm going to play it this month. I'm paying the $15. I'll True. Buy it for the year. It's that's what I did with Sea of Thieves. I wanted to just try Sea of Thieves and it was free on when Game Pass launched. So uh, I was like, I, I mean, I just, I, I also bought the One X at the time. So I had like the, the, the free, you know, uh, trial of Game Pass. So I just did that. I think it was a dollar too, if you wanted to just try it out. So you could play Sea of Thieves for the month for a dollar. And then I played it and I said, this isn't that good of a game. Sea <laughs> of Thieves just I, passed I, 15 million players. They love their fluff stats over at Xbox, to be honest. That is a fluff stat. I didn't mind... Sea of Thieves, I played like the fucking beginning of it. It was interesting, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not big into those types of games, so it was whatever. I had fun the one time we played it because we were, it had nothing to do with the game. Oh, we were being stupid. Yeah, we were being <laughs> real dumb with it. Good. 
<laughs> I had fun with that, but I it, nothing about it was like I'm gonna play more of this, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel you. Frog, yeah. <laughs> Tortured Dan. This is why I don't get how Game Pass can last because of how many people exploit it and how devs don't get as much money. Um, there's a lot of money in well, services. Look there's, at Netflix. Yeah, there's a lot of money in services. Uh, I don't think it really matters when people exploit it. And I think that they pretty much... Uh, the whole, like, people getting keys and stuff, I think they're pretty, they pretty much put the... the, the nicks on that. Um... But with the devs not getting much money, they own 15 studios. <laughs> yeah. Also, so. what you gotta consider is like for every uh, super savvy gamer guy that's like, man, I'm, I got three years for $32 or whatever, right? There's somebody that lets their subscription for $15 a month lapse and they haven't touched their Xbox in two years. That, that, so like, it, that's, it all evens out. That's why subscriptions are so big right now in every industry is because people just put their credit card in and then forget and they're yeah. really banking on those people that forget dude that happened to me literally yesterday i have a vpn pia and i have a two-year subscription it's 50 bucks for two years and yesterday it just uh rebuilt me and i was like oh my fucking god i mm. totally forgot i had this it's the same shit yeah. That's what happened to me, literally yeah. with Stadia, but I immediately emailed Google and was like, hey, I haven't touched this shit since I got the trial. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm not playing. Yeah, I almost, I almost had to pay for Stadia. Did you really? Yeah, I almost I had, I almost got the relapse. Me. Yeah. Like my WoW account I just discovered I'm, I'm still paying for yesterday. <laughs> it's like people <laughs> paying for AOL. Oh also, that's another thing, AOL is still a company strictly because people still think they need to pay for internet. All right. And insanity. It, it's just like... Those old every, people haven't died off yet, basically. So many people... Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> well. So many people, like, you know, like, it's a meme that, like, Xbox doesn't have games and games don't come out, but because of Games Pass, they're guaranteed to get the money of more than that because they don't have to pay yeah. fees and all that stuff. They're guaranteed two games from you a year. They didn't buy two games this year on PlayStation. I did. I didn't buy two games on Xbox at all. <laughs> I'm saying like I did, I didn't buy that. I didn't buy two games directly on Xbox either. But because of Games Pass, they're they're guaranteed for the people that have that service to have two games, whether they play them or not. Right, right, right. Mm. Mm. I mean, I pay for all of my online subscriptions, like you know, PlayStation, the PlayStation Network, Xbox Live Gold. I haven't played. Oh, well, uh, no, Warzone's free. I don't even need gold, I don't think. So I, there's no reason for me to pay for gold, but I pay for it just in case I need it, which is really stupid. There's an app. Oh, I'm trying to find it. I haven't played it. I, I paid for a year of gold. I didn't pay for PlayStation Plus because I just play single-player games while I play PlayStation pretty much. It's usually like the big, like the Spider-Mans, you know, that type of shit. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, am definitely sinking money into PS Plus where I just don't use it that often. Yeah. I definitely have made that mistake. But I do like the free games that I get from PS Plus every month. Yeah, I, I, I always go, oh, that's cool, and then I never download it. Yeah. <laughs> I never download it, but I make sure to quote-unquote buy it just so I have it in my library. Yeah, and I can that's, what, it that's what Will does. He downloads, well, he doesn't download, but he buys every single uh game on both of those just when so he world, just so he can have it completely down and we eventually run out of new games to play you could play all the free games that you redeemed and never touched <laughs> yeah i True. uh i do love that i'm able to play through all the uncharted's again right now just because of playstation uh kuejui in the chat says tetris will be on game pass everything that we saw they said was going to be on game pass so yes yeah yeah tetris effect do you guys know what that means, Tetris effect? So there's uh when you in the game when you get Tetris, you can stack your Tetris. No, I, I mean the psychological definition oh. of Tetris effect. Oh, do you? That was the leading question. That wasn't him asking. For <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for this app because I wanted to say something and, and I, I got sidetracked and then that's the first thing that came in. Te yeah. The Tetris effect is similar, yes, like the Guitar Hero effect. Uh, it's when you play Tetris too much and then you start like seeing blocks in the world oh. and, and you start to just, like try to fit things together because Dude. you're too used to playing puzzle games. That shit happens to me all the time with Guitar Hero. I literally see the the highway coming in as yeah. I'm like as I stop playing. Guitar Hero will get me if I play too much like Rock Band or Guitar Hero, uh, and I move my head, I will start to see like the walls coming in on me. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it's like uh, what was the other thing? The other thing that did that with me, Flash Flash Revolution. It was like the online yeah. uh, VR that did that did that to me too. Oh, here it is. So uh, we were talking about uh, subscriptions. I have this app called Truebill, not a sponsor. And um, I think I've heard of it. All, you link all your bank accounts to them and your credit cards and whatever. And it tells you every single thing that has like a monthly, yearly, whatever subscription. And then you can just go through them to cancel it if you don't want it. So it just like stacks them all. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Okay. So I need to get that. that. Now I'm afraid because I'm going <laughs> to end up. Yeah, going to see like, like three thousand. Oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I have I have see, Eclid like, open, and that um, terrified um, me. Holy well, crap. On subscription services. <laughs> what happened, AJ? said, I, I need to do that just to see how much money a month yeah. I spent. It's, on it's, it's, it's scary. I, I wonder if Mint does that. I never look at a Mint. That's another one of those things. You link all your bank accounts. Oh, yeah, it tells yeah. you like all like, like what's yeah. happened with your money. True. Very true. Sorry for the strange name. Uh, where am I? I have a lot of notifications here. Um, I think I read this one. Dom da D M D M A A T H E N. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, cool and plastic. Thank you for the sub. Just six one nine. Thank you for the two months. Game Pass is awesome. Uh. I guess, I guess I'll find out when the new console comes out because I you, you, still don't have it. You know, my biggest problem with Xbox is there's no reason to own an Xbox because all the games are being put out on PC nowadays. Well, that's what that's what I was talking about. To buy a comparable PC. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about the ecosystem. Like, Absolutely. Like, the, like it is. I was hoping there was there would be more. Um, uh, console uh, exclusives no i was just hoping that the messaging would be more clear yeah i it's it's just all very weird to me because like if i can just get game pass for a dollar what is influencing me to go out and buy an xbox and buy halo infinite you know no, i can nothing play it now for a dollar do that though i think I'm that the, the xbox exists for the people that didn't already make that investment in a pc yeah. or don't want to continue to invest in a pc and I just agree. say okay i want to play the best looking experience of halo possible and i don't want to think about it i just want to be able to press two a button two times okay. and be playing halo. well if you I, think, I think the way it works is the average person buys what they buy a really good tv they don't right. they're not going to buy a two thousand dollar computer that that's can fair Max. They, they, right. they, they, let's say you own an Xbox. Let's say you Microsoft won you over, and you're going to spend five hundred or whatever dollars on a Series X, and you also have a really nice gaming PC, right? Okay. Uh, Halo comes out. Where are you going to buy it? Me? You... I'm asking everybody. Hey, where are you going to buy it? Where are you going to buy I'll Halo? Buy I would buy it on Xbox. Same. Jackson. Yeah. I. I I, I guess Xbox in that case. Well, you yeah. said before you would play it on PC. I, I, I would, but like, you know, like you bring up a good point. Like you're just trying to like press two buttons and like Xbox is definitely the way to go. Like, <laughs> all right. Well, my buttons. point is, my point is you buy a Series X, but you can still buy all of their games on PC or the Series X. So you don't even have to buy the Series X. You can just oh. straight up buy everything on PC. Oh, then I would just buy it they don't PC. care if you buy the Series X because they're not making any money off of your purchase of the Series X because you're already in their ecosystem on the PC. Oh, and you can get Game Pass on the PC. So you can, you're still going to be on their services on the PC if you're interested in Game Pass. 
then yeah, I would totally get just get it on the PC. I think the main reason why, I mean, obviously, because I don't really care about doing anything on like Windows or PC or whatever. So it's not as much of a good investment. It's it's backwards. It's reversed for me where people are like, well, I already have a PC. So getting an Xbox is just getting another thing, blah, blah, blah. I don't use PC for anything. So I would be buying a PC that's effectively just a console that's four times the price of a console just to do that and then the lifespan for being able to play that game at the best possible spec for what i paid for ends a lot sooner like i buy a 500 dollars xbox worst case scenario right and i know that i'm going to be able to play every game that comes out on that thing for at least the next five years i'm not guaranteed to be able to do that on, on pc my, my my point is that uh for 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 people who own a PC who are saying, why should I buy an Xbox? It don't, yeah. You don't need it. And, and Microsoft doesn't care. They don't want you to buy an Xbox. They just want you to be... they Because they, you're not going to buy a game... Buy and that's it. You're not going to buy it. the... They just want you to buy the game. And you're okay. not going to buy a game on PC and then also on Xbox. <laughs> like, you're just going to do one or the other. And they don't care with, with which one you do. Because they're not going to make any... They're not making any money off of the... the console sell they just want you to be in the ecosystem so so people who don't have a pc like aj the the console is the easiest way for them to get into the ecosystem yep anyway marky mark thank you for the one bit Liz, thank you for the 29 months and speedy g thank you for the five bits should microsoft offer free xbox live free would psn follow suit psn would not follow suit <laughs> i i the question that I have is what do are people do they actually mean should they offer free online or are they saying that the service entirely should should they do that free because I do not think that they will ever say like okay yeah you get two free games for free you don't got to pay for Xbox Live to get the two games a month or whatever well, that, right I think I most think that, people don't care about the free games I think people are just saying do you think online multiplayer will be yes. free next year that's, uh, so that so I think online multiplayer should be free on every console. I think it's ridiculous that we have to pay for online multiplayer for any console. Um, I agree. I, uh, in terms of Xbox Live, uh, the whole service in general, I don't think that uh, it will be free. Ju judging by what they're doing with their whole they're playing around with it they canceled uh, 12 month subscriptions well, they're not canceled but they're not selling 12 month subscriptions anymore um, so most of their revenue is services I think that at most they're just going to rope that in with everything else and uh, yeah. up the price or change the price structure in some way to reflect that um, sh there's a lot of other things in Xbox Live than just playing games uh online but i think the main thing that most people buy it for is playing games online so i think that should be free but i don't i, I think that they make too much money for them to make that free and all of the console manufacturers are pretty much agreed we can make money on this so we're going to charge people for it i just say that because as far as the verbiage goes they're not going to say yeah xbox live gold is free if anything, they'll depreciate it and say, or, or deprecate it and say, we're done with this, right? Like, no more Xbox Live Gold, online multiplayer is free, get Game Pass. Right. Ultimate, or, or just call it Game Pass since it doesn't include gold or whatever. I just think I it's going it to be roped be in with everything. Ultimate, and then they'll just, like, do a different check mark down the line, right? Instead of saying Xbox Live Gold, just yeah. list the perks of what Xbox Live Gold whatever, is now. Whatever Microsoft is doing with their services, PlayStation, I don't think, has the capacity to follow suit. Like, I don't, I agree. Yeah, like what I they're agree. streaming they with Game Pass. Yeah, how the hell yeah. can Sony keep up with that when you have a whole yeah. computer system with you on that? I, I think Gold will uh, be gone this generation, personally. I don't think it's really like needed with Xbox is Xbox is going like the games as a service route and having multiple uh, services to subscribe to for one system is a little confusing for a consumer. I think they'll mold the two together, which they've already done, but I think that'll be like the only thing you can subscribe to for Xbox. And I think that's going to be it. 
Yeah, I think they'll consolidate them to be one thing with different yeah, years. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Consumerist Smurf says, I think live should be free. If you have to go online to play, it should be free. I don't need free games each month. Just access to play the ones I have already bought. So you just... You, so you want online multiplayer to be free. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. a feature of Xbox Live to, uh, yeah. Gold to be free, not the whole... Because Xbox Live Gold is supposed to be more than that. Yeah. Th th that's the problem is that everybody buys it to play the games online, Shocking. which is the thing that should be free. <laughs> right. sure. I think companies like EA and Ubisoft will restrict their games to month services soon, but I hope I'm wrong. So there's a weird... I have an option, but I don't think they'll restrict it to that. There, a weird thing happened with last gen, or I guess the gen we're in now. Uh, some game companies thought that... Uh, games were going to be episodic remember that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. uh oh, yeah. square was one of them they thought final fantasy 7 was going to be released in episodes i think they're still doing that it is yeah that, that's it is but the, the, the way they were gonna different. do it was going to be much much worse like you, thought, you yeah, see what it's going to be a telltale game you see what happened with hitman yeah. Hit, hitman was they released each level as its own episode <laughs> yeah um but based on some things that, like, I know are just rumors right now, I think people will still be upset with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm -hmm. Like it's going to be more we, than two parts? It, well, I mean, it, it was never going to be two parts. It was going to be three minimum, but now they're looking upwards of six. Jesus Christ. Which is fucking insane, because that means this game is going to go on for the next ten years. Yeah. Th that well, would, that would be like doing it in episodes. Parts. Like, but still, at that they, point, make it three parts. N Nomura has said that part one was too long. I disagree. I the, I can't know. wait to be charged seventy dollars to play a smaller game. Yeah, the, no, I, essentially that. yes. There's some games that should be a service. Call of Duty should be a service, and they should just upda agree. update it every year. There's no reason to have a whole new Call of Duty every year because it's oh, the same freaking game every year. Um, Assassin's Creed was one of those games too, but now they, they seem to actually be changing their game every once in a while. Um, so some games would benefit from being a service, but, uh, other games I'd much rather pay 60 bucks. I think the games would benefit, but the problem is they wouldn't like the companies wouldn't. And that's what they're, I don't uh, know. I think they would. I think that, uh, you know, uh, it's the same thing with paying for a service. You got it's like people still paying for WoW. You know, the only thing is they need a big like. Right now they benefit from having a big thing every year. Like this is the thing. Look, there's a it's a whole new thing. I think the question is how many people actually fall off from like Madden or FIFA and, and stuff like that, right? Because like if it's if it's a thing where it's kind of like Pokemon, where it's like they stay at a a, a level. Uh, you, like they're consistent with their sales, but it's because people grow in and out of Pokemon more often than not. Are the people that are buying Madden the same people? Or are there people that are coming in and out and then it all, you know, just levels out to be around the same number? There's because definitely, if that's the case, you know, if that's the case, then it being a games as a service thing would help because then uh, it would help them retain more people because the people that would usually be like, I'm not paying $60 for this or like, ah, it's $30 this year or whatever, because it's a, just an add on or whatever. Right. I, I think um, in the case I thing where the same people buy Madden every year, they would lose money. If pe people like, but they so, so, that. so people like that buy Madden every year, there's definitely new people that buy Madden every year. And that's just because it's like kids who are getting into gaming and want to play a football game. But there's people who only buy their only game that they buy is Madden. They buy it every yes. single year. I I live with um two Madden stands. <laughs> they don't miss a single Madden. They don't miss a single NBA 2K. They don't miss a single MLB The Show. And Madden is is, is only, one of the games that should be a service. Yeah, and that is the only video game they buy. I only just got one of them to even expand into a different video game. Like they're not playing, they're not buying the Xbox to play Halo. They are buying the Xbox to play Madden. M most of the reason it. they buy the new Madden every year is because they want the updated roster. Yeah, and all yeah, the other the stuff they don't care about. Online now, well, yeah, doesn't FIFA even matter. Updates online now, yeah. Oh, yeah, they all that's do. Why, that's why I'm like scratching can, my head as to why would the companies do that? 
uh, as far as like money wise. Because if they buy a whole game just to get the roster, why would they then lower the price it's, point for that? It's well, who's saying the lower the price? Buying though the roster yeah, the updates online now. Yeah, I think it's like, purely just so, so if, the, if you if you make it a games as a service thing and then still make a, the roster update sixty dollars, what's the point of making it a games as a service? No, 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 no. fucking ten dollars a month. But how much is WoW? $15. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Never mind. I thought you were saying like you buy one game and then you buy for expansion. No, oh, no, 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 no. You pay a monthly fee to play game. fucking Madden. That's what I'm right, saying. Right, right. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> or make it free to play or something. About Destiny, like that type of games as a service thing. No, that so Destiny is a weird thing because that's that's another a lot of these games came out in a time when they were in between like do we want to do games as a service or do we want to have an actual game that you buy so they did this weird sort of like hodgepodge and then the freaking publishers were like you can't do that you got to do it this way and then activision just tore destiny in half yeah um that makes a lot more sense i get it now i thought you were saying like that like destiny and then you buy or like what people are saying you do uh, they should do with pokemon where it's like they make a pokemon game and then you buy dlc expansion so, so, instead of so the way game. destiny should have been was you buy the game the one game destiny one and then you just buy expansions every year like wow right. like what you do with wow yeah, and that's what I thought you were saying about Madden, but you're talking about like a subscription thing. Yeah, you just pay a subscription and you freaking play it and it just updates itself over and over again. I feel like if you do that, though, then that's what becomes stale, like the whole oh, it's Destiny. Oh, man, I wish they made because I feel like there's those people who just go, oh, man, I wish they made Destiny 2, even if there's those, exp those expansions. Yeah. Well, well when, they, when they launched Destiny, they said this is the game. And then this is what you're going to have for 10 years. They said Destiny is going to be a te is going to have a 10 year lifespan. And they meant the one game. They didn't mean the franchise. They meant the one game is going to last 10 years because they wanted it to be like a wow situation where they would just you would just keep buying expansions. But then Activision said, no, we got to do it this way. And then that's why we got a Destiny 2. So it's the publisher, not really the developer. Yes, it's absolutely. It was absolutely the problem. And then I mean, Bungie bought it back from Activision like last year or something. Is that the same thing with uh, with Zelda? Because they did say that Breath of the Wild two or whatever this is going to be called uh, was supposed to be expansions, but there was so much that they just said they decided screw it. We're just going to make a new game. I don't. I never heard anything about that. I've I always thought that it was just going to be something like uh, Majora's Mask situation. Like, Where it's like the same engine, but a different story. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a it's a combination of the two. It was like the DLC. So they 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 had the DLC that came out for the original Breath of the Wild, and then in the process of making that, they thought of more ideas. So it was less so. This is the overall scope for what we want to do, and that scope was like, oh shoot, this is too big. It's like this is what we want to do, and in the process of making the thing that they wanted to do, they thought of more things. You know what I'm saying. Mm. I, I just I, I I understand that if you make a game a service, uh, it would be harder to hype it up every year to be like, this is all the stuff we're adding. It, it it's it's easier to be like, look at this whole new game and all this new stuff that's in the game. Even they do that shit with Madden, even though there's they don't add anything. It's the same fucking Listen, game. I don't want to see another trailer at a showcase where they only show one athlete. And the sweat on his face. <laughs> I just don't want to see it anymore. It's a Gatorade I commercial, that. and I hate it. So, so I think that I think that Wow is a perfect example, but it's really hard to replicate something like Wow because um, you you you, you have you you have such a fan base that is just and plus the game is just really good at hooking people, you know. So, I, but I think Destiny could have done that. I, they just needs to be a new way to be like this year we got year two of Destiny. Well, actually, they did call it year two of Destiny. They call they yeah, they, they call Des the Destiny updates every year, so they could do year two of Call of Duty Warzone. You know, uh, but do you think they could do, they could do that with like Nintendo games? No, I think Nintendo should always sell their own the, the games individually. I don't think because Nintendo actually innovates their games every time they make a new one. True. I agree. Yeah, yeah, Ubisoft, EA, freaking Activision. I don't know if they do that. Versions of the same game. Yeah. I think Pokemon could 100% do it though. 
Uh, uh, yeah, probably. yeah, I agree. I think the way Pokemon is now, it makes sense for it to be like, oh, it's just constant uh, loadouts. I, I think Pokemon needs to make a banger engine <laughs> and yeah. like and like in like assets and stuff, and then make it a service. They if need, they wanted to do that, they need to fuck off for six years. Yes, uh, yeah. Hire a lot of yeah. a lot of people. They need the GTA FI. They need to take every studio, nah, man. Pokemon See, stat people, and all that stuff, and have them all go heads down on one game, and then yes, uh, yes. Make it. If they take a hiatus, then you're gonna see like 800 new Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all going to be like random pieces of furniture and shit. Like, it's not, it's not going to look good. Yeah. And then every year, agree, like, add, add a new area or something. Yeah. But like, Jackson and I were talking about this the other day. Like, the wild, I think the wild area was smart, but Jackson doesn't think they executed it correctly. Like, the way that they put it out. Like it, it just it just allowed you to level up so fast. Like, cause I got bored of the game easy. Cause by badge three, I was already level forty, and I was like, "There's no, there's no point of me to continue." I just didn't want to play anymore. Which I never do that for a Pokemon game. Pokemon, they they oh, hold on. Eat they game. think of an idea and say, "Hey, what if we made the Pokemon more like this?" And then they're like, "Okay, but like, let's not go full bore on that let's test it out a little bit let's dip a toe in the water that's the wild area it's like okay what if pokemon was open world it's like oh whoa 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 we're not doing all that shit let's, but, let's halfway point you know, that one guys. area and see how pe pe people you know grasp it no i, I get and that next game i can see being like okay this is fully open world now you know like yeah yo gang, i, I, I like have to go it. deal with something so i will be back maybe but i love you all and thank you for having me bob Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> you could full screen me now, Bob. <laughs> Can I? Oh, there we go. I didn't even know you could click. Yeah, it's called focus. Wow. Uh yeah, dude, I don't I don't know. I'm like I I, I don't know. When it comes to like those types of games, I'm fine with them making new ones, but at the same time that's been the same thing forever so it it'll be nice to see like buy one game then pay a shit ton of money to continue it Pl plague placebo says bob you say this but don't they hype up fortnite when they add new stuff um yes that's a good example but also for people are falling off fortnite true i think the, the only thing that they'd lose with that is the ability to hype up new people because like Every time I see a games as a service game that I'm not already all in on, I'm like, okay, this is the same game. I don't give a fuck. That's a good <laughs> like, point. Like, like, like how much they add. It, it is like, off-putting. Like, if somebody wants to start playing WoW, it's very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. But also, I mean, I don't know. Like, no, most of these games I'm thinking about are multiplayer games. Destiny has a, has a what, big single player. That's what it is, though, because it's a multiplayer game. They think, oh, how can we make it better? No, I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking, or... I'm thinking about new people who want to come to play the game on like Destiny Two or Call of Duty, uh, freaking Advanced Warfare, or whatever the hell, um, yeah. to get new players in. Um, that's a problem that would have to be tackled. Hmm. Um. But in terms of like Madden, <laughs> there's no there's no problem there. Yeah. Well, you know? like what about what about a game like Final Fantasy? Do you think it would have made it, it could make sense for them to be like, all right, a single player game? No, I don't think it would make a lot of sense to, except for Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would make a lot of sense for single player games to go as a service. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I, I, be I mean, the, the solution, the, the thing that it's solving going as a service is that you're, uh, if you're making the same game again, people don't have to buy the same game again. They're already buying it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But then if you're a new person who wants to just jump in, it's it might be a, it might be a problem for you. But I mean, I, they might feel that way anyway. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, I don't know if this would make sense for them as a way for them to make more money, but what if you did a thing where it was like this whole subscription-based thing 
you pay 60 bucks for the game then you pay 10 dollar increments for more game and then like the year after when year two comes up then you can buy all of year one for sixty dollars or for a hundred dollars because you get everything well that's the, that's then, that's the thing that they do is that they give you the the year one stuff like when in terms of destiny they give you the year one stuff um mm -hmm. they give you all of, or like the game of the year edition of stuff they give you all of the stuff that people paid for in the past the problem is still that people feel like they have to play through all of the first game you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Like if the division yeah. was a was a service, like people would feel obligated to play, or like it, WoW, people feel obligated to play through the first few expansions. Actually, no, they don't. So WoW solves it by just giving you level sixty if you buy like the newest expansions. I think that's oh, how it yeah. works. Yeah. yeah, Diablo did that too, where you could just buy your level sixty and then just be whatever. Um. But that, I mean, these are all, none of these are like really like single player experiences. For the most part, games as a service works for multiplayer. Yeah, totally. I agree. <sighs> also, uh, real shenanigans. Thank you for the follow. In the, uh, in the, thank you for the follow. <laughs> all right. What else you got here, people? I feel like The Last of Us could get away with it. No. No way. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone said that. Dude, they I took did. seven yeah. years to develop this new game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seriously. <laughs> or eight years or something. Did you guys see uh, Dead Island 2 got leaked? Like like alpha gameplay from like five years ago? Got oh. Like, like I was like, I don't think or something. Yeah, I thought that was a thing. Oh, did, did they just never release it? <laughs> never released the game. I didn't know that. I completely forgot. They, 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 that's right. They had that weird trailer. And then they just... Yeah, yeah in like 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're going to make a conspiracy video on that one, but whatever. You can hear from me. Which <laughs> <laughs> makes sense at this point. Why do I feel so low? What the fuck's going the, on? The dog is awake, but I can't show the dog. Oh, Jackson left. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's he so... Himself, man. That, was, that was his idea. <laughs> he is so loud. <laughs> I know. I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's so loud and he says the wrong information. Dude, welcome to my fucking life. <laughs> uh try to make a video with him. Oh wait, you did. <laughs> How are you streaming at a decent time? Uh friggin' X blame Xbox, dude. Uh, different topic, but is Xbox about to be blown away next gen? That's not a different topic. This That presentation was trash. They are so behind in exclusives, it's unreal. Fable should have been a staple, not a footnote. Halo looked decent, I guess. <laughs> there are a couple others that looked cool, but the rest was nonsense. Oh, I found it. That's a little aggressive. Yeah, seriously. Halo is a very big deal, uh, and Fable is also a big deal. That was the that wasn't a footnote. That was the one more thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was the Horizon Zero Dawn. Like if that True. if that was well, whatever the fuck the did you hear Jackson almost cried? Horizon Two Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Horizon <What>? Double Down. <laughs> I I don't. I think that it looks very promising on the Xbox. <laughs> I think it looks promising on both sides. <laughs> Uh, Eric I feel says, so this about is the same with both as far as games are concerned because there, like I said, there's more like highs with Sony, but there's more games that I'm generally interested in than there are with uh, on, on Xbox. Like either I'm super excited for a PlayStation game or I don't really give a fuck, you know. I got um, as far as exclusives go, but with Xbox, it's like there's those two or three that I'm super excited for, and then the rest that they showed, I'm like, yeah, I'm down. Especially since only got to pay fifteen dollars a month to play it. You know, I just like, like that they were like, oh yeah, no uh, GTA. Like they didn't mention any of those like games except for um, what was the game like? You're the little light rat thing. Like that was the only uh, game Ori, that they were like, Ori. yeah, Ori. There was the only game where they were like, oh, optimizing it for Xbox. Everything else was. Yeah. 
like a yeah. new game or like fable or whatever ori was the only one when they were like yeah we're putting it on the xbox so i was chill with that well destiny also but destiny was like they were showing a little more this dog stinks good is he on you he's on me oh, okay oh there he is oh <laughs> i'm trying to make sure he doesn't eat my cable oh yeah that's good Let's see my dog is barking he sees my dog have me eat the mic She's you freaking stink what's he supposed to do about that dude what's he supposed yeah, he to i made, I made sam get him like a like a dry like a doggy dry shampoo oh they make that they do make that it's ar like an arm and hammer type deal oh, okay i'm into it um a Switch Pro is the next logical step, I assume. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel some weird shits going on with Nintendo. Like, uh, yeah, I agree. I don't know. Like, I used to, the fact that they didn't have anything announced for the end of the year. I was like, may, they they must be cooking up something for the end of the year. Maybe there's a reason why there's no. Uh, I think it's just first parties, but now I think it's just that they're. They've delayed everything because they they're having problems. Yeah, I think they're just. I think so too. Historically, they play everything close to their chest, and this just makes it even worse. Where yeah. it's like we have an idea for when we want things to come out, but we can't really say that because we don't know when or if or how everything will get upended. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It was I, I hit up my uh, my Nintendo rep and I was like, yes. Yeah, so like, what are you guys doing? And then because uh, I was I was trying to get Paper Mario and they were like, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> and I was like, cool. <laughs> they probably don't know either. Yeah, I, I don't think they do. Like they just they just they're just kind of all in the loop as well, or like out of the loop. Uh, yeah, out of it. Which I'm whatever about. Like I get it. It just right now it makes sense. If it was like a normal year, everyone would be like, what the fuck is going on with Nintendo? But it's clearly yeah. not. But that's what people forget is that it's not a normal year. So you can just chill. Yeah, and it's, it's also like, I think the it's like this, this thing that fucks them over on both ends, right? Because like if you compare this year to last year as far as like release cadence goes, it's comparable. If not technically better because they released their holiday game or what could be their holiday game in the first three months yeah um, the problem sure. is we don't know what else is coming so it's like it feels like nothing came out and also the fact that everybody's home so everybody's playing games yeah. more so they want more shit to play you know so it's like no dude a hundred percent so it's like nintendo knows oh my god we have to fucking do this but at the same time they're like we really can't this is just how they and operate. there's console releases that are happening so it feels like everybody's getting the two their cool new toys and all of their games to play yeah. on their cool new toys and nintendo's like animal crossing though man kate, yeah. kate laurel in the chat says but the president has stated that nothing has been delayed lies i say did he because they well, just the they just said mini. well yeah. they just they just said that uh uh, they are having problems and things are delayed. <laughs> they they yeah, straight in, up just came out mini, and said that. There's like a screen that says, "Due to COVID, we have issues," and it's like, yeah, the first yeah minute, obviously, even, like when when this like at the beginning of this, they were like, "COVID is fucking us over, dude, real good." Yeah, it makes <laughs> sense. that exactly on the disclaimer. <laughs> I want another paper. I want another Mario sports game, specifically a golf or soccer game, but Bob would be happy if a Mario golf game came out sometime at the end. I would love a Mario golf game, but I'd also love a yeah. Mario Strikers. I think that'd be really cool, too. Strikers would be dope for Switch. I, I played I, Strikers I, like 10 years after it came out, and I was like, this game is fucking sick. <laughs> down, down, down. Flash up, yeah, I do have the Panasonic Cube. I That's did. awesome. I have it. Yeah. Oh, shit. I also have Wheat Thins. <laughs> Yo, I'm way more hype about that. 
about the wheat thins? My dude, I want them to sponsor me at this point. I'm just gonna keep back there till they sponsor me. They sponsor you. Send me a box. There, bro, so dude, so I, there I, was a. Uh, they had a like a social media campaign where they would send you a lifetime supply of wheat thins if you like tweeted at them or something. That's so, insane. So James tweeted at them, "Give me my wheat thins, or I'll fucking kill myself." <laughs> Wait, when did James have a Twitter? <laughs> a long time ago, when it was okay to joke about suicide like that. Oh my god. That's loud. Yep. 2009, and then he deleted it. Yep, probably. It was probably yeah. around then. He, oh, you know what he did? He got a... Uh, uh, he got like a... He won like a contest for Drake's Cakes. It was on their Instagram, and... It was like comment below, and we'll uh, if you win, we'll send you like a whole shit ton of Drake's cakes. And he said something like, "Give me these Drake's cakes, or I'll off myself, or something stupid." And he won. <laughs> and the guy, they they DM'd him and was like, "I don't know how," and this is not a joke, but you fucking won. <laughs> it's randomly picked, and you were the randomly picked dude. Oh, is Jackson back? Okay, Jackson. Oh, I'm back. Jackson. He is back. Do you guys remember when Drake's just sponsors E3 at the most random? Like they're just there with the giant duck chef and uh, like no. a mascot. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Right, it's Drake's. Right, Drake's cake. Yeah, no, Drake's don't. sponsors E3, and they and they always like they give out like Twinkies or whatever, um, the, the 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 yodels or whatever the fuck it is. They're like right. When you're walking from the West Hall to the, the, the South Hall, they're like right there during that long like corridor. And then they're always like right there. To and then they have like the mascot too. I did not know that. That's yeah. Bad. I would have been. Like where, where all the indie games are. I'm right? a big Hostess fan. Wow. I like the little orange cakes. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Rue, you fucking stink, Rue. Maybe Man. if you put him against the camera, oh, yeah. we'll look into the mirror. Where's Will? He should be here right now. He's working. He's got Wolf. Oh, okay. All right. You want that? Get down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I ever wanted to love you. It would have been great if, like, the dog left and Jackson came back. <laughs> <laughs> he works for the CIA. Jackson Will does work for the broke CIA. Out. Broke Canada, out. Broke out. Institute of America. Uh, is there anything else to say about this thing? I think it was good. I think I think I think there's I don't know up to you, man. I'm down. A lot of those games are are launch titles, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's something they got over PlayStation. Launch. There's usually not a lot of launch titles, so the uh, another uh, point for Microsoft is that. Uh, a lot of these games are going to have smart delivery in some way. So, yeah, I, I want to argue about that though. Like, I, I feel that's less impressive because they feel to me more like Xbox One games that are just being ported over to the Series X rather than like a, an experience crafted for the Series X. So, Whereas, like, yeah, with but the I PS5, think I'm getting many games that are being crafted well the, the, the problem with that is that the games the games that are crafted for ps5 are coming out next year yeah and yeah. also like games that are crafted for whatever console that just means they're crafted for a high spec pc the only reason why I, it feels like that yeah. for playstation is because they don't usually also make a pc version but it's still like it's what it's going to look like on a PC, on like high mid-range PCs. Yeah. So they're still developing for a high spec, regardless of if Series X existed or not. It's just getting I, a higher spec version. I gotta disagree. I think uh, consoles creators, like people that make games for consoles specifically, and not PC, I think they spend a lot of time like crafting like each experience to the uh, pros of every single console, like. That's what they are, had to, but it, there, it, there's less and less of those I, specific console intricacies every time a new console comes out. Right, right sure. but I, I, I think Spider-Man is one that, like, will be, like, very well crafted to the PS5. Uh, I think... Um, I think, if anything, Spider-Man is going to be one of the uh, the ones that are further from that because it's... Oh, I, I disagree. 
original PlayStation. I think if anything, we'll start to see, like what Bob was saying, we'll see like Horizon. That'll be the, like, this was like from the ground up, a PlayStation yeah. 5 thing. We didn't even look at the PlayStation 4 for this game. But I Spider-Man, I think, is definitely like PlayStation well, 4 leftovers. On maybe iPad. maybe not um, like the, because I, I, I think what I read is like, it's like they're porting over all of the full Spider-Man game. <laughs> And then um, the Miles Morales expansion is like a Uncharted Lost Legacy type deal. I think the Miles Morales type deal will be like have a ton of PS5 like oodles of goodness. I don't know how to describe it. It it, it it's that they're uh, you're saying that they're utilizing a lot of the 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 technology. The, they're utilizing the spec of the console to optimize the experience like they sh they showed yeah. they showed uh the first spider-man game as some of the tech demo for the playstation 5 mm -hmm. because they were optimizing spider-man for the playstation 5 like i understand what you're yeah. saying there but yeah. that's just that's just engine optimization like right but I'm I'm also talking about like the controller and what does the controller do in your That's hand. all bullshit. That's all stuff I, that that they that they're going to do in the very beginning of the console generation and then everyone's going to forget about it. I mean they did I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think yeah. it's bullshit. Like the last the developer do, that does that amazing... has ever done that and will continue to do that is Nintendo. None of the other first party developers do that shit. They don't get they don't it's want strange. to touch it. But also of that. also when what's the last game that had HD Rumble? Yeah, I mean, when, whenever I think of that, I just think of one-two switch. Oh wait, hold on a second. Someone's at my door for some reason. When it comes to the haptic feedback with the HD Rumble, like I'd... all of them use HD Rumble to an extent, but it's not it's not on the level of it, of one-two switch for sure. Yeah, but like yeah. like Smash Brothers, right? Like if you play oh, Smash Brothers games on the Joy-Con yeah. and you shoot the charge shot with Samus, it you can feel like okay, yeah, this yeah. is HD Rumble. I, yeah. but you know, I I played through all of Last of Us two. I won't spoil it. But there are definitely some moments where I'm like, the controller is like making the experience for me, and I wouldn't want to play this on a mouse and keyboard. Like, I I don't, I, just, think, that, I don't think that takes as much manpower as you think it does. I no, I, I I don't think it does at all. I'm not saying that it does. I don't. Uh, my ja point Jackson is like Jackson wants a uh, uh, an ex Jackson wants exclusives that are that are uh, big staples for the console. Yes, that's what you want. Yeah. That is what I want. Yes, and, and I, I understand that. I, I I'm just like, I'm just talking about when a new console comes out. There's usually like, like I'm thinking about the GameStop wall. Like when you, yeah. I mean, nobody yeah. is gonna do this for the new consoles, but yeah. <laughs> you walk into GameStop and you, and they go, you know, Xbox One. Here's the wall. PlayStation Four. Here's the wall. And there were, you know, you can like tell like, okay, there's, and, and Nintendo Switch, there was like barely anything. There were seven games that launched with the Nintendo Switch. Um, so uh, the fact that there's just a bunch of, I think they even said during the thing, a hundred games at launch or something like that. Um, I got to look back and read actually what they said. Right, but, but like a lot of, my, my point is a lot of those games are just Xbox One games. Right, right. So but and like when I get a new console so like when the, I get the, a new like, console like when I get a new console, I want to throw out the old console. Not literally, yeah, but no, I want to no. put it away somewhere. I'm never gonna touch this thing again. I want to play everything on the PS5. I want to play everything on the Xbox Series X. So yeah. even yeah. if they're bringing like Cyberpunk via smart delivery or all this other stuff, that is a big selling factor for me. Okay. Cause because I want one box. Well, I, actually, I want a couple boxes, but you know, I want as as little boxes as possible to be on in my desk situation. You don't want to have to like, okay, they got a new Xbox One game, and I gotta play it on my Xbox One. Can't play it on my Series X or PlayStation Four or whatever. You just want to. This is my PlayStation for this generation, and for all the other generations, I'm not looking at the four anymore. Having to bust out my Wii U was was the worst thing in the world. For, for, to, to play Mario Maker. When I got the PS4, there was a, I think there was a game that came out on PS3 and I was like, this, this sucks. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to have to play anything on PS3 anymore. Like the, like the Assassin's Creed game? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, something, well, it wasn't right. I didn't play that. Something dumb. Well, one of them, Grand Theft Auto. I bought Grand Theft Auto on on PS on PS3, and then PS4 immediately came out, and then immediately came out on PS4, and I was like, I'm not buying this game again. 
but then I didn't yeah. didn't want to pull out my PS3, so that was the end of that. Skyrim effect, dude. They they Skyrim literally came up for everything. Yeah. So, and I'm so excited to buy Skyrim for the PS5. Oh, uh, you're gonna buy Avion or whatever the hell. <laughs> hey, the water brand. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. I mean, it's just the whole thing. When I saw that uh, GTA was gonna go on to PS5, I was like, that's so dumb. Like, just at that point, I understand the, the online community is is big, and they're gonna offer you the million bucks. But dude, fucking just don't say shit and just let me know when GTA 6 is gonna come out. I don't care about GTA 5. But a lot of people do. That's a, a game. That's a game. That's now a service. <laughs> yeah, well, a thousand percent, dude. Which makes me sad. I think Rockstar has really fallen from grace. They're making so much money on Grand Theft Auto. So much money. And I, I think we are getting close to a GTA 6. Yeah. Just because they're devaluing the GTA economy so much. Doing, they come. Um, they completely know, skipped yeah. the the Rockstar just just skipped over <laughs> this generation. Dude, dude, so yeah. Rockstar, they're gonna be guests. No, they did at, Red Dead. Uh, they're gonna be. Oh, guests sure, they did Red Dead. Uh, that's in August, and they're. I don't know what they're gonna talk about then. They're gonna say how billions of dollars off the same game for an entire console generation, featuring Red Dead. Let's see, let's see what games they've made. Have you ever been to that, Bob? No. Play NYC. That's cool. Never even heard of it. It's um. Uh, it happens the same time as Li Retro, and it's a. Uh, it's like an. It's more indie dev. Uh, but they have like, last year they had like over 150 devs at uh at uh Hammerstein Ballroom. It was oh, pretty. It was pretty cool. They have too many freaking. Uh, all of their studios are split. North San Diego, Toronto. Uh, oh. India made Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> what? Uh, that's their credit for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, Rockstar lead? No. Give, what's the main? Is there a main one? Probably North, right? Yeah, I think the idea is kind of like what, what Naughty Dog does now, where they have multiple teams and they're all hands on deck on the thing. Right. Do. Yeah. Totally. I, think, I think North is... one of the main ones um red dead redemption 2 red dead online uh doesn't s what's agent is an upcoming stealth action game developed by rockstar north and published by rockstar games for the playstation 3 it's an upcoming playstation 3 game <laughs> oh my god <laughs> It's, it's, it's the same thing as seeing Just Dance for the Wii. Just Dance 2021, whatever the fuck it is for the Wii. Mm -hmm. You're like, how? Why? But then you realize... No, this is a why? game that was just straight up canceled. <laughs> no, but but like... I oh, they announced it for PS4, game. though. Oh, really? Uh, in July 2013, Take-Two Interactive renewed its trademarks for the agent name. In December 2015, a new screenshot. The, the artist said that the art team was taken off agent and reassigned to Grand Theft Auto 5, <laughs> adding that he was, quote, not <laughs> sure if the project will ever be published. On December 2016, Take-Two Interactive again renewed the trademark for agent. 2017 images and concept art was allegedly leaked online. Uh, yeah, yeah. They just, oh, 2018 U.S. Patent Trademark Office declared that agent trademark has been abandoned. They have so many fucking subsidiaries. It's Rockstar India, Rockstar yep. International, Rockstar Leeds. That's what Rockstar I was trying to say. <laughs> Rockstar London, Rockstar New England, Rockstar North. There's Rockstar no, Rockstar there's no Rockstar good Rockstar. like list. But basically, the last two games was Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption was the only current gen game that they made. Crazy. Shit is wild, dude. They have way too many teams. My uh, one of my friends, his neighbor is an ex Rockstar exec, and I'm trying to just show up one day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how is it like? <laughs> your favorite torture, uh, form of torture to make Can your we play day GTA together, <laughs> and you just tell me about the new game. All right, I'm done, <laughs> I'm leaving. That's enough right, of this. Okay. Are you streaming still? I'm gonna I'm gonna stream uh what's called carry on. 
Carry on then. <laughs> oh, but MK Leo is playing Mario Sunshine though. Oh. Whatever you think, man. It's up to you. All right. You know what to do. Right. You know just go say do. hi to E. Don't say hi to Scoot. Say hi E. Fuck you, Scootish. Yeah, that's yeah. what you say. Yeah. And then go about your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to be mean to me? All what time? should I stream really tonight? We got Carry On, uh, we got Crisis, we got freaking uh, Paper let's Mario. Play Warzone, Bob. We got Warzone, we got freaking uh, I've Been Wanting to Play, some retro stuff. When was the last time we played Warzone, Bob? I haven't played it in a hot minute. Bob, play can Warzone. Play, Bob, can we play Worms? Goodbye. No. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just angry. <laughs>